give me that portfolio. What is the meaning of this, Sandra? See if I don't try my patience. Give me that portfolio now. If it's because of the gun you're holding, you're asking for the portfolio. I won't give it to you. For the last time, Silva, give me that portfolio now. Shoot me if that is what you want. When you see this portfolio, I won't give it to you. immediately after the party. Why did they come here? I never knew you were a good dancer. You danced very well last night. Thank you very much. Um, anyway, I'm I'm late to work. I have to go home now. Otherwise, I'll be late. Okay, please. <sighs> Such a darling. I enjoyed every bit of it. <laughs> He's cute, romantic, he knows how to do. Good. Oh, Chizaba, you found yourself a man. Oh, yes. And I hope this whole thing won't end here. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. <sighs> I'm coming, coming to join you. Hi. Um, yeah. Were you talking to me? Oh yes. Uh, you see, I saw you when 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 you were coming. So let's say hi. My name is Prince. Oh, um, I'm Silver. Lovely name. Would it be nice if you call me Gold? 
<laughs> That's not funny, but I need to go. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. My bad. I see you're here for shopping, right? It's a supermarket, so obviously I'm here to shop. Okay, do you mind if I drop you off after shopping? Okay, that's fine, but first I need to get what I came for. Let's do that together. My gold. <laughs> With you today, what? Oh, you don't know. Hey, hey. Do. don't try me. I'll win this game. You win what? Like or not. You win what? Went to of your game. Thank you, my darling. So, how was school today? Fine, Auntie. Great. So, guess what? What? You can't guess. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I got you your favorite. Yes! Oh, thank you. You're welcome, my darling. Ooh. <laughs> oh, take a look at that. Biscuit? Yeah. <laughs> my favorite. I know. And your favorite. And my yogurt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thank you, Auntie. You're welcome, my love. <laughs> Mommy! Hello. Oh. Auntie Bartley, my favorite! Did you say thank you? Yes. You don't want my darling, so take your bowl and the bowl inside. Okay, Mom. Well, ladies in the house, silver is back! <laughs> I can see that! And You're I can welcome. actually see that your hands are heavy. Obviously, it is heavy. I want you guys to guess. Guess, guess, guess! Hello. I said guess. Come on, girls. Guess. Okay, fine. Well, if you guys wouldn't guess, I would just spill the bean. <laughs> well, today, Silver made some dollar, dollar bills. Oh my God! Not too fast, darling. Wait until you hear the story. Okay. Sit down. Boom. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, well. So I went to the supermarket today, you know, to get some stuff for myself, and then I ran into this handsome guy. You know, we got talking, he offered me a lift, and who is Silver to say no? On our way, he told me that he just got back from UAE, he wanted us to see again, yada yada yada, yada whatever, that's not even the fun part of the story. Well, when he dropped me off, he asked for my contacts, and then he gave me this. Oh my goodness. Are you, are you kidding me? Just like that? Just like that. So, mm. <laughs> Please, my darling, the next time you're going to see this man, just make me your handbag. At least I need to meet this philanthropist that gave you such money just like that. Okay. <laughs> you said a man you met today gave you all this. My darling, without hesitation, I collected the money before working mad, they changed their mind. Yeah. You know? I collected the money. Okay. <laughs> well, sis, you know now, I will see. <laughs> I will see my ear, way here, nose, way smell. My darlings, let me go inside with my dollar bills, eh? Uh, you guys should take care of yourself. Uh, uh, <laughs> hey, what you want? Uh, don't follow. Uh, my sister, it is called dollar falling. Uh, Thank you. Uh, it's part of the happiness now. <laughs> but Silver should be very careful. Because I know she's in a serious relationship with someone else. Oh, please. Mm, who doesn't like good life? Who wouldn't collect? I bought what you say, right? I'm to play and I'm going to so deal with you. I will so with hey, you. Hey, hey, hey. I just play. No, 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 no. It's not too six. Don't even try it. Play it again. You're already at uh -huh. I'm going to play. Three, three. What is going to You're going to play. Fine, obviously. No, 
Uh, why can't you have a word with me? If I... I have nothing to say to you. Listen, I'm sick and tired of your cheating attitude. You need to leave. I have work to do. Can you... Can you just hear me out? Can you just let me have my peace? What did you take me for? A fool? I called you over 20 times two nights ago and you were nowhere to pick up your phone. Obviously cheating with some girl and living the La Vida local life. Mm -hmm. And now you're here to tell me what? No, Cynthia, please. Just allow me to say a word, please. L listen, I... Go on, express yourself. What, what do you have to say? Nothing. Please, take your low life out of my office. I have work to do. Can you just get the hell out of my office? I don't want to scream his working hours, please. It's alright, it's Do I need to call the security? It's alright, it's alright. my office today and took me shopping! Yes. <laughs> yes. You mean it's funny? You know say sometimes you know get sense. I'm talking money, you are talking nonsense. Who is it funny? Is that the name of a street or a junction? I'm talking about my new Yankee friend, Biko. <laughs> Prince? Of course! Prince! <laughs> wow! Take a look at this. Feed your eyes. So Prince got all these from for you? Oh well, yes, he did. A man you just met a few days ago. My darling, <sighs> Prince got everything for me. What can he leave go? And he even transferred money to my account this afternoon. <laughs> how much? How much? How much? I say there. I say how much? I am not telling you. Please, please now tell oh me. God. Expensive. Make a wise to maybe she back. I don't know. Please tell me how much did you send into your account? Auntie, I said I am not telling you. Let me just pity for your generation. Take one dress there. Really? Oh, I said one no. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Whoa, I love this color. It's so beautiful. Mm. I know you like that. <sighs> Let me see if the maybe is back. So uh-huh. Since you're the one you want, huh? Oh? Let me drop this. Make I don't see your hand okay. for this time. Okay. <laughs> oh, I love this dress. <laughs> Silver is very, very lucky with me. I just pray if I won't know about this. Because he will never be happy to see Silver dating another person. My mom. This is where I hmm. Really nice. I mean, the environment is cozy, so much shade, a lot of places to relax. I like it. Thank you. <laughs> it looks natural. Yes, very natural. All right, let's go in. 
My father will be waiting. Um, I'm a little bit shy and scared at the same time. Why? I don't know. Oh no, my father is free minded. Okay, let's go. Sure, <laughs> this way. Oh, that, that, that's my father. Is she the one? Oh yes, she's the one. Ah, <laughs> this is cool. <laughs> oh, I'm impressed. Thank you, Papa. Your eyes like your father. Oh. Thank you, Papa. Oh. <laughs> That's wonderful. Once again, you are welcome, my daughter. Oh, thank you very much. Sir. Yes. <laughs> Let's go inside. Oh, sure. I'm sure. sorry. We're not forgetting something. You bought something for Papa. Oh, yeah. that's true. I'll be right back. Please do that. You're a nice woman. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. But you don't remind him that's a very good thing. That's so good to me. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I like your father. <laughs> Thank you. I wanted to ask something. Okay, go ahead. What was it he was telling you in your ears that made you laugh? <laughs> Come on, you tell me. You want to know? Yes, of course, I want to know. I mean, I saw him whisper to you and you started laughing. I got curious. What did he say? What's so hard? What did he say? Okay, yeah, it's not really hard, actually. My father said he likes you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on, hold on. Really? Oh, yes, he did. So, he said, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> so, um, very soon we will be coming to see your people. You mean you're your father? Yeah, to do the needful. I thought you said you were going to come alone. No, I have to come with my father. I mean, I, I can't come alone when I have a father. So I'm just coming for us to do the necessary thing and... You will become my wife. That sounds good. <laughs> and you said you have a sister. How come I didn't get to meet her? Because she's in school. Oh! Yeah, she's in 200 level in the university. Yeah, right. I mean your father said he likes you. He said he likes you like and really, you are really? pretty. I'm not gonna say that so your head doesn't go. <laughs> My head is big already. <laughs> he, said he likes you and you're pretty. He likes your voice, the way you laugh, and your dimple. Like really, really like. You saw the dimple. Like really, really like. <laughs> <laughs> Uh -huh. No, my mommy, you are not a troublemaker. You're such a sweet girl. Oh, really? Mama Isha? Yes, I am sure. Let's go. Please, wait, wait, wait. Please, wait. Let's go. To maybe. exactly is he doing in this town? Oh, God, I don't ever want to see that man again. I don't want to. Thank God I didn't give him the opportunity to follow us. Jimmy, you're still looking worried. 
And if I may ask, who was that guy? Sorry, sis, I do not want to talk about it. You can talk to me. I mean, are you in some kind of trouble? Did you... Are you alright? No, I, trust me, everything is fine. I'm okay. I'm fine. Okay, if you say so, I'll let you be. But trust me, I'm not buying the story. Something is definitely wrong with you. John K? No. Not again. God, please take that, that beast out of my life. I don't want to have anything to do with him again. I'm sure he's coming back to ruin it. He can't ruin me anymore. I hope she ate before taking her medication last night. She did now. You're supposed to run another test this morning. Make sure you take a space meal. Okay. Have it. How are you, my dear? Don't worry, you'll be fine, okay? Thank you, dear. Have you eaten? Make sure she eats before giving her any medication. Okay, ma'am. Alright, later you bring the file to my office. Okay, ma'am. How is she? Okay, she's asleep. Alright, later. Exactly. So you came back a few days ago and you decided not to let me know, right? <laughs> you thought I wouldn't know? Oh, please. So where are you at the moment? You are in my hospital? At the reception? Oh, well, it's fine. Come inside. I'm in my office. All right. <sighs> wow. Yeah, come in. Come inside. My baby girl. Mm -hmm. Hello, Charles. This is an office. You're welcome. Just have a seat, please. Thank you. <laughs> so, how is work? Work is fine. So you came back three days ago and you never deemed it fit to let me know? Is that how you profess your so-called love? Baby, please don't blame me. No, I will blame you. Because this is what you always do. And you will put it on your business. Then why do you always do this to me? Baby, please don't talk like that, okay? No, I won't talk like that. Because I'm tired. Charles, you're being too selfish with your business. I must have to tell you the truth. I don't like it. I mean, it's high time I told you everything that you've been doing because it's not nice. Listen, Charles, the way you express your love towards this relationship, it doesn't go down well with me at all. It's really getting on my nerves. All right, all right. I admit everything you said. I promise to change from now onwards, okay? You better do. All right. Please, where are we going for lunch? Baby, are you still angry with me? You know, I hate it when someone tries to play on my intelligence. Charles, I never said you should leave your business. The only thing I said is that you should have time for me. And I deserve it. Come on. Baby, I said I'm sorry. It won't happen again. I will make it up to you. I promise. I close my heart. Wow, ah, baby. <laughs> I will make it up to you, okay? How is work? How is everybody? Take me to Octopus right now. 
Growing up wasn't easy. As the only son, I was born in penury. But I told myself that I will have to work so hard to liberate myself from poverty. And I thank God today it's been it's been sources all all the way. It wasn't easy. Of course I know it wouldn't have been easy. But look at you. You did it already. <laughs> exactly. Well, I did not do it. God did it for me. <laughs> of course this is funny. You just Oh, sorry, I have a call. Um, excuse me. Yeah, hello. Would you be kind enough to let me call you back? Please. Thank you. Um, that was an official call. Sorry about that. No, it's alright. So, you were saying? Yes, I was trying to tell you that I have finally found my missing reap. And who is she? Well, previously, she was laughing at me. But right now, she's staring at me. Silver. Ever since I met you, I've grown to love you. Um, I've been so used to you. This is not um it's not something to joke about. Well, I what don't you? look like I'm joking either. What are you doing? Safe. I love you. Please. I want you to be the mother of my kids. I want you to be that woman I call my own. I want to make your world colorful. Please. Marry me. I don't, I don't, I don't even know what to say. The only thing I want you to say is yes, my prince. You see, there's my favorite verse in the Bible that says, The kingdom of God suffered violence, but only the violent take it by force. So, I just took my woman by force. Thank you. What's the meaning of what? Where did you tell me you were when I called? I told you I was in a meeting. Oh really? Yes. Do you know I was here when I made the call? You hung the call on me. I asked your manager. He told me that you went out for lunch. Are you done? If I am, I mean I can't even believe this. What are you doing? You now monitor me around, even during working hours. Are you serious? Sylvia, you know I'm not monitoring you. I only come here during the lunch hours. Well, I'm going to make this clear to you. You can go ahead and monitor me for all you care. That is none of my business. I will live my life the way I want it, how I want it. Is that clear? Sylvia, are you talking to me like that? Wait, by the way, who took you out for lunch? Oh my goodness, you're asking that. I can't even believe this. Please, um, if I, as you can see, I am working. And this is working now. I wouldn't want your feelings to interfere with my work. So if you don't mind, use the door. 
We're going. You're walking me out of your office? Sylvain. I'm singing you out of my office, so please get out. It's all right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Please. Please just let that idiot be. Your sweetheart, idiot. Sandra, can we not talk about this here, please? What? An engagement ring? Oh, come on, Silva. Just, just do what? Just get your silly self out of that office. I already submitted your CV to my manager, so get your ass off. We need to see you. Right now. But shut up. Okay. Not the worst to be a fast. Honestly, girls, I don't know what came over me. I just found myself yielding to everything he said to me. I tried so much to resist the engagement ring, but he, he forced me to take it. So why are you worried? Someone gave you such a precious gift and you're here budging yourself. Over what? To maybe. Why are you calling my name? What have I done wrong? Oh, she should have returned the ring. That is not what I'm saying. What exactly are you saying? Silver has gone far with Ifai. And it will not be wise to disappoint him at this dying minute. There is nothing like dying minute. All the while that Silva was with him, why did he not propose? Oh, so now that someone that is very, very serious has done that. So we should die. My dear, follow the person that is very, very serious. Girls, I'm just confused. I don't even know what to do at My this point My darling sister, you shouldn't be confused. The best thing for you to do now is to get married to Prince. So it's simple. That's the truth. Who is he fine? That Casanova. Oh, oh, you didn't know. All he wanted to do was to sleep with you and dump you. Hmm, but it's quite unfortunate for him. It didn't work out. So maybe don't judge it that way. Don't tell me not to judge anybody, my dear. I am speaking the truth. Oh, yes, I am. Well, I, I don't know, Prince. I haven't met him. But with what you told us about him, I know that he's very rich and responsible. Not well, that's pauper. If I knew Diego, does he have anything? See, I don't mind baby. Don't tell her not to mind me. Huh? Okay now, you settle for less. Settle for less. Okay. You said you met the young man not too long ago. Yes, ma'am. He said he really likes me. He wants to marry me. So I asked him to come and see my people. He said he wants to come this weekend. Really? <laughs> um, do you like him? Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, what about the young man you told me some time ago? Are you no longer with him? Well, it's not like I'm no longer with him. I don't see any seriousness in him. I'd rather not lose this person and at the end of the day he disappoints me. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, the choice is yours. Hmm? Let's wait till he comes. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's okay. You know I love you, right? And you know I love you more. No, but I love you more. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so this weekend is fine. It's yes, okay. yes, sure. <laughs> and um This is almost 5 p.m. Are you sure that your man is genuine? Eh? How could he fix an appointment and he's not making his calls? At least we've been calling him for some time now. I really don't know what is going on, Mother. But I suspect something is wrong. My prince has never rejected my calls before. Then continue calling him. Maybe he's not close to his phone or he's sleeping. He has no reason not to be with his phone. 
He was the one that fixed this appointment. What kind of disappointment is this? He's still not picking up. I'm just tired. This is going on. Mom, you seem not to be bothered about this whole thing. So what do you expect me to do? Eh? Am I the young man that likes to say that he's going to see happy things? Mom, you should have been more concerned. She's human. I can't wait to get to the house. Silver suitors will be coming today. Yeah, who is that coming? Good day, Mom. Yeah, good day. Ma, there is an emergency, an accident victim. He's in a critical condition. So, why are you here? You should go and meet Dr. Nat. He's the one on duty. Okay, go meet him. Okay, Ma. Now I'm done for the day. But... Oh, where did I keep this file? Who? Oh! Ma, Dr. Nat is not in the office and... His phone is not reachable. What is wrong with you? This is a professional work for crying out loud. I am not on duty today. I'm leaving. Go for Dr. Nash wherever he is. Please. Who wants to be in of this rubbish? Are you even mad? Why are you playing with my father's lap? Who got there? Worried? Why? Mama refused to tell me my dad's name. It flogged me in school because I couldn't answer it. Okay. Don't worry. If she comes back from work today, she will tell you, okay? Don't you know it? Go and change your school uniform first. Promise me that when I come back, you're going to tell me my dad's name. I promise you, when you come back, I will tell you his name. Okay? Calm down, okay? All is well with your father. You can take your call. No, I'll, I'll answer the call later. But how, how is he? Will, will he be fine? We succeeded in stopping the bleeding. What actually happened? I mean, how did the accident happen? I wasn't there. But eyewitness said he was trying to cross the road when a hit and run driver knocked him down. Oh, that's really sad. But don't worry. We're doing everything possible for him to be strong, okay? So just take it easy. You can take your call. Come on. I will get a call later. No problem. Thank you so much, to maybe. You're welcome. We will talk when all of this is over. I'm, I'm going to drop my number so you call and I'll talk. It's good. Hello? Hello? Prince. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, all right? You're sorry. What happened? You've not been taking your calls. Can I call you later? I can't talk right now. Wait, Prince. I don't understand what you're saying. Do you mean you call me back? What is going on? I can't talk right now. We'll talk later. Prince, let... Hello? Hello? It's fine. All is well. For all this perfect. 
What happened? He says he can't talk. What is going on? Meaning what? No. Before I could say a word, he he hung up. Let that guy not disappoint you. I mean, I just don't get it. What's the meaning of that? Do, do you think he will disappoint me? I just pray he won't. Okay. Just don't cry. Buy my um, biscuit and I'm so sorry, sweetheart. I was in a haste, okay? Do not worry, I'll buy for you tomorrow. Yay! Thank you, Mom. Mm, you don't have a problem, my love. Okay, Mom. Um, I, I hope you're fine. Yeah. Mom, are you alright? Of course, my son, I'm fine. I'm alright. Are you sure? Of course, my son. I am fine. Alright. Go and meet grandma, okay? I'll see you later. Okay, mom. Alright, baby. I love you. I love you too. Did you later see the principal, like you said? Yes, I saw him. So, how did it go? He gave me some days off. He said I have to go to the hospital. He even assisted me with some money. Mm, that's very kind of him. Yes. So when I got to the hospital, I met a doctor who advised me to go for pregnancy test, which I did. Pregnancy test? Yes. And funny enough, <laughs> he turned out positive. Really? I'm pregnant. I'm three months pregnant. And I'm... Um, are you surprised? You're not saying anything? No, no, not really. I'm just, um... I'm just surprised. Yeah, um, kinda. Because... But, but it's okay. It's alright. It's alright. Uh, the main thing is that I'm right here with you. Okay? I've got you. Hmm? And the good thing is that you have a few months, like two months to finish your service. So once you're done, I will come see your people. Mm. Hmm? That'll be nice. So don't be scared. It's a good thing you're pregnant. Hmm? Thank you. Yeah. I love you. I love you too. No, I love you more. I love you more. <laughs> <laughs> After so many years, he suddenly so faced after seven solid years. I mean, who does that? Why does it ever happen? Is everything all right? Everything is just fine. Your son, you said you're not happy. 
That's why I'm here to find out what no. the problem is. Chibuebuka said that to you? Yes! He said, Grandma, my mother is not happy. Please go and find out what the problem is. And that's why I'm here. That my child is very intelligent. <laughs> that means he was obviously observing my mood while I was talking with him. Exactly. So, did anything happen? Not really. I I only met his father today. Whose father? Chukwebuka's father, of course. Where did you see him? He's the one calling. Hello? Please, I'm very busy right now. I cannot talk to you. I'm with someone. I said I'm with someone. Is he married now? Mama, I don't know. I honestly do not care. I don't know. I mean, I don't even care. He's such a wicked man. After everything he made me pass through, now he has surfaced. How? Oh, I don't care. So, Mom told me you met him because father today. Yeah, it's true. He brought his father to our hospital today. So what was his reaction when he saw you? We were shocked. We were both shocked, honestly. We never expected to see each other. Although um, we didn't have time to talk because his father was critically down. Do you think he's going to come back to you? Come back to me? I mean, how? Even if he does, I won't accept him. And mom has been so, so worried about Ibuka. I don't know why this boy is disturbing these days that he should be told the name of his dad. Mm -mm. Tell mom that I said no. Nothing of such should ever happen. Please. Can we discuss something else? Uh huh. What about Siva? Has she been able to tell you why Prince disappointed? They've not talked yet. Are you sure that guy is real? Because no responsible person would behave the way he did. Sis, I'm, I'm so confused. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> it's so confusing. Same here. I have nothing to say. Let me just keep my mouth short. <laughs> Up to now, Prince has not called to tell me what happened. What is he up to? Unknown color. This is the time you're calling me. See what? You've not been sleeping. Unknown color. Pick your call. I am not taking this call. He can call for eternity. I am not going to take his calls. Who is that? Is that Prince? Yes. Why is he calling by this time? <sighs> he did not call since evening and now he's calling you. Just pick up the call and know what he has to say. Yes, I am not going to trash this issue over the phone. I'm not going to have a talk with him over the color. found out why Silver Sutter did not come yesterday. I have no interest in that. Silver should find out and tell us. Mom, how can you say you have no interest at all? I don't understand. Am I Silver? She should be the one to make the inquiries and give us feedback. Mommy, I'm not against that. This is Silver Sutter we are talking about here. Sandra. Why are you so much 
bothered about an issue that does not concern you. Eh? Silver sheet or not visiting, it's not a problem in this house. Is it? that I would ever see her again. What about the three months pregnancy? Did she terminate it? I know you're very angry. Wait, 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 what do you mean I should calm down? What was that you did yesterday? Anyway, I kept saying thank you for embarrassing me yesterday. Thank you. Baby, please, it wasn't really my fault. Okay. I was already on my way coming to your place. But then I got a phone call that my father, who was coming from the village, had a fatal accident. I got devastated when I got to the scene. father had an accident? Yes, a, a very serious one. Just I, I thank God for his life. Um, through the, the doctor I, I, I met at the hospital. She did something really nice at least. She's, she's getting better. Oh my God. I'm, I'm so sorry. I didn't know. You should have told me. You kept me in the dark. I know. I was devastated by the news. I know I should have called but the whole news got me me messed up. It's okay. How, how are you? I hope you're fine. I'm okay. And how is your father? It's much more better. Oh, this is so sad. Baby, please. I'm, I'm sorry for everything. I'll make it up to you. I'll explain to your people oh, when I come. Come on. It's okay. It's fine. Alright? I hold nothing against you. I just want your father to be alright. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's, let's go in. But I think we should go to the hospital to see him. I, we can just sit here all day doing it. Oh, yes, yes, you're right. You're right, my love. No, it's okay, let's just go. I don't want her to accompany me to the hospital. So I can at least have some privacy with you, maybe. But the truth is that Silva will not be happy if she finds out. Okay, babes, I'm ready. Right. Oh, so. Call you back, please. Thank you. Okay, let's go. I'm ready. Baby, I really don't think we can go now, but like today, and maybe we'll go tomorrow. Why? I got an emergency call from a friend. I think that's a very big problem, so it needs my attention. And you're sure everything is all right? I wouldn't know until I get there. Your father, how is he going to cope in the hospital without you visiting today? My sister, my sister is around. She came yesterday. Oh. Okay, that's that's fine. I thought I was actually going to see him today. But it's okay. We could go tomorrow. Sure. Yes, it's fine. Mm -hmm. 
I'm sorry, okay? It's okay. Just be careful when you get to your friend's house, okay? Sure. Uh, nothing to worry about. Alright. I'll just run and walk. You take care. Bye. And remember to call me. Sure, I will. Bye. 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 What has come over you? Eh? I will call you, not pick my call. Even when you do, you tell me you call me back. At the end of the day, nothing. You won't. Obviously, you have been calling my phone. I choose to pick up my calls when and how I want it. And why in God's name are you even shouting at me? Why won't I shout at you? Why would I be angry at the change of attitude? Oh, good thing you know there is a change of attitude. But you started it. I started what? Tell me, what did I start? Fine. Obviously, you came here to tell me something. Please be quick about it. It's sunny. I need to go inside. Wait, wait. I should tell you what I came to tell you so that you go inside. No. I will stand at the gate and listen to you. Do I look like a gate woman? Do I work here? Mr. Man, say what you have to say so I could leave. I can see it from your countenance. It shows you've started seeing another man. Aha! Uh -huh. Same way I know about your numerous mistresses. You know you lie. God bless you for that. Good. Five years of relationship. Nothing to show for it. Not even a ring. And you stand in front of my gate to talk to me like I'm your slave. Have a nice day. Don't step an inch. Come, come, come back here. I should come back here. No, I'm talking to myself. You're talking to myself. Why does he keep calling my phone? Okay, shouting at me. It's just me to I'm just calling. Shouldn't even bother calling me. I'll just block his line. What do you do, rubbish? What in God's name is just wrong with this? Sis. Yeah, what up? Um, sis. Mm -hmm. Are you having a problem with Ibrahim? Why did you ask? Because he just called me now. He said you've not been picking his calls and the next thing you switched off your phone. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. If I called you, Yes. Sis, what's the problem? You know, I've told you not ah, to... Okay, Sandra, please. Please. You and I know that Ifani is a cheater. What? I mean, what in God's name have I been doing with that man? Whatever we shared is over. Sis, don't talk like that. Don't talk like that. You, you've been dating Ifani for five good years now. And when has dating somebody for five years without knowing his way forward become an achievement? What am I supposed to do with that? Since I know why I'm telling you this. No, you don't know why you are telling me this. And this should be the last time you will bring up this discussion. Do I make myself clear? Okay. Thank you. I won't do that again. My son even had a ghost to call my sister. Can you imagine? to say this but go on now you're wicked you deceived and abandoned me for doing absolutely nothing to you if not for my profession i wouldn't have answered you the day you came into my hospital with your father well do maybe if i were in your shoes I will probably say the same. 
But I want you to understand, it wasn't my fault. And whose fault was it? Mine? No, it's not yours either. Then but what happened? I was arrested. That's what I'm trying to say. I was arrested the night I left your place. Arrested by who? Anti-court. For what? <laughs> it was crazy and, and funny. That night I left your lodge, they said that I was a, a, a notorious kidnapper, that they've been looking for me, I've been on their wanted list, I've been terrorizing the area, on and on. They took me to the police station and detained me for like a month, two months, three, four, five, six months gone. It was in the seven months that they caught the call print. And, um, you know, they said that we are sorry, we thought it was, it was that person, and that's how they freed me. They took my phone, my wallet, even... Why didn't you find a means to call me? That's what I'm trying to say. They, they took my phone and my wallet, and they refused to give it to me. I came out and went straight to your lodge, but they said, you have traveled. I searched everywhere for you. I, I asked your friend everywhere, but there was nowhere to get you. This is quite unbelievable, honestly. Well, it's fine. So where have you been all these years? Well, I got this connection from my cousin in Dubai. I traveled to Dubai. I came back um, last three months. Thank God for your life. You're welcome. I also thank God for your life. Today, you're now a big medical doctor. Thank God. <sighs> to maybe. Please, forgive me for all that happened. Let it go. I'm glad we meet again. Does it really matter? Of course it matters, because the last time I checked, you're not a married woman. And you think I've been waiting for you or what? Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, my dear. I am in a very serious relationship. So, what about the three months pregnancy? you had back then so what about the three months pregnancy you had back then he didn't abandon me as I thought he was really a nice guy God why is this happening to me why now that I I have almost forgotten about the past. Please come in. Sorry for disturbance, ma'am. Okay. What is it? Someone brought me this at the reception. So he said I should deliver it to you. So what is in there? I do not know, ma'am. Grace? Have you lost your senses? Someone brought something for me. You didn't tell me, and you received it, not even knowing the content? I'm sorry, ma'am. I came in here, but you were out. Drop it. Go. Thank you. Well, see? My love, words cannot express my gratitude to God without life. much for everything you have done for me especially today I mean you gave me the biggest surprise of my life and, um, how do you mean as funny as it may sound 
Do you know that I totally forgot that today is my birthday? That's why I'm here for you, baby. Yes. And then um, I also have a gift for you. Oh, another gift? Yes. Mm, kill me already. Please. Yes. Ah, oh my God. <laughs> Thank you. I will. And this call for celebration. <laughs> my baby. Oh my God. This is beautiful. Yep. Long life and prosperity. Yes. To our love. To our love, yeah. <laughs> That's my baby. <laughs> Thank you, sweetheart. You know what? What? I got you your favorite. Yeah. Yay! Thank you! <laughs> thank you, mommy. You're the best mommy ever! And I love you. I love you too, mom. Come on, let's go inside. Mom? Guess what? Do you know why I'm very happy today? Mm -hmm. I know why you're happy. Why? That's because I got you your favorite. No, 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 no. Wrong answer. So you tell me, why is my baby so happy? I am happy because Grandma said she's going to tell me my dad's name. Grandma did what? She told me that she's going to tell me my dad's name. And I'm tired of telling my teacher that I don't know my dad's name. But I already told you your father's name. Mom! Grandpa is not my dad! Will you shut up? Keep quiet. Why would you talk to your mother like that? Have you lost it? Have you? Sorry. You don't argue with me. Mama, mom is back. Yes, I can see. And she bought me my fair bites, yogurt and biscuits. Oh, good. And I hope you said thank you to mom. Yes, I did. <laughs> good afternoon, mom. Good afternoon, my dear. How was work today? Good. Go to your room, Ibuka. See you later. Yes. Are you alright? Mommy, what did you tell my son? Chukwe Ibuka. Yes. Uh, uh, something like what? You told him that you were going to tell him about his father. <laughs> that boy is character. So he has told you already. But Mommy, why would you do such a thing? Why would you? Wait a minute. Is that why your face is like this? Is it not enough? Mother! <sighs> Do maybe. Listen. There are certain things you must not overlook or take for granted. I was happy the day you told me that you met with Ibka's father. Your son is very intelligent. And he has been asking questions about his father. You needed to hear the kind of questions he was throwing at me this afternoon. So what exactly are you saying in essence? I don't understand. Reconcile with Imka's father. Yes. It is true I have not met him. But I have this strong conviction that he will make a good father and a good husband to you. Mother, I had a very hectic day. I am not in the mood for this, this conversation. I'm obviously not in the mood for it. You don't 
does not even understand that whatever I'm doing is for her own good. Yeah. So how is your father? I hope you've gone to see him today. Silver! Yeah. Okay, I just need you to calm down. I'm sure he'll be fine. Oh well, no, I didn't go to the office today. I've been home. Um, you know what? Um, I'll call you back, okay? All right. Okay, bye. Yes, what is it? Is that Prince? Yes, that is Prince. You have a visitor. Who? Uh, if I... Sandra, please, just go back to him. Tell him I said I do not want to see him. Sis, come on. If I has done nothing wrong to you. Oh, you're very sure he has done nothing wrong to me. Be mindful of what you say. And don't say things you are not sure about. Sis, please. He just wants to talk. I'm begging you. Oh, well, since you are in the mood of begging, I am begging you also. Go back to Prince. Beg him. Tell him I said I do not want anything to do with him. It is over between us. Please. Come on, sis. Is it because of Prince? Sis, please, I just need you to go outside there and talk to him. Well, I'm not in the mood to go out there and talk to him. Just let me be. As you can see, I was on the phone before you got here. What is this? That would be a very big mistake, oh. Just, just talk to him. Just one minute. Please, sis. One minute. Just one minute. Just one minute. Is she sleeping? Uh, no, she, she, she's not sleeping. She, yeah, she, yeah, she is. Hi. What are you doing here? Um, why have you been rejecting my calls? I'm here to see you. You're here to see me. If I isn't it obvious that I don't want anything to do with you, please take it easy. In whichever manner that I've wronged you, can you just forgive me? Let's talk things out. There is nothing to sort out. Whatever we shared, it's over. And please stop coming here to look for me. Please. Silver. Silver. Please, I'm sorry. It's alright, it's alright. There's nothing to worry about. I I know how to sort out things with her, okay? Thank you very much. I'm sorry about it. It's alright. Okay. Silva is going to regret this. Yeah, how are you? How's it? Yeah, sorry, um... Is this, um, Let Ikea Force House? Yes, this is Let Ikea Force House. Do maybe for the right? Uh, okay, I don't know where to go. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, hold on, hold on. Um, uh -huh. See, I, I, I want you to do me a favor, okay? Favor? Yeah. Favor, what? I got a guy. I got a lot of people in there. We are good. Hi. I got a guy. See, if there is more to come to you, no if you can give me all the information I need. I will deliver. <laughs> good boy. I will deliver. Thank you, I'll sir. See you, eh? All right. We are good. Wow. Uh, 
I said, who was that? Uh, Miss Road. Miss Road. No, no, Miss Road. My friend, lock this case. Let's go out. fine and you good evening i am actually calling to check up on you you have done well thank you you're welcome so i was wondering if we can if we can see at least you know get to talk catch up well i do not think that will be possible because i'm very busy right now as i know but at least you can create our time to see a, a long time friend at least. Ugune, I'm afraid. I can't make it. I'm so busy. Look, please do maybe. We really need to talk. It's important to me. I, I, I didn't want us to have that conversation in your office. Okay, <laughs> okay. Do not worry yourself. I have to think about it and then I'll get back to you. Okay, should I call you or will you call me? Do not worry. I'll call you. Okay then. I'll be expecting your call. Yeah, good night. How are you, sis? Fine, darling. That was, um, Kimka's father. Oh, really? What was he saying? He wants to have a date with me tomorrow. Honestly, Silva, I'm confused. Each time he talks to me, I, I keep recalling the past, the past memories and everything. I honestly do not want to hurt Charles. He's a nice person. I know. And I understand. Oh. It's um Prince. I've been calling him, his line has been busy. Alright, go ahead and talk to him. Let me get something. Okay. Yeah, hello. Yeah, hello. How are you? Your line has been busy. Yeah, no, I was on call with a friend. Okay, so how is your father? It's getting better. How is your family? Well, everyone is fine. Um, Prince, I need to talk to you. Something very important. It's been bothering me. Is it okay if I come to your place tomorrow? Okay. Okay then, tomorrow. Alright then. Good night. You're welcome. Good night. Should I tell Silva to go? Should I tell you maybe to go? Should I marry the both of them? Or should I leave the both of them? He's my daddy. He's my daddy. He's my daddy! No! He's my daddy! He's my daddy! He's my daddy! He's my daddy! He's my daddy. What's wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Open your eyes! Mom, good morning. Good morning. You were screaming. What's the problem? 
A man came to me. A man came to you? Yes, mom. He was telling me he's my father. And he stopped me from going to see him. A man came to you and they stopped. Listen, my son, it was just a dream you had. It's not reality, okay? Okay. All right, do not stress yourself. You have to get up now. Brush your teeth, freshen, so you don't get late for school. Enter the bathroom. This boy is really getting me scared these days. A man came to him in his dream and saying he's his father. The same period Ugonne just returned from America. My goodness. What is really going on? must I have done to Sylvia that has stopped her from picking my calls? Huh? I don't understand this. Something must have prompted this uh, sudden change of mind. And I will not rest until I find out. to see you. I want us to talk. You want us to talk about what? Haven't I told you not to bother me? Huh? I told you I'm in a serious relationship. What is all this for? Ify. Ify, but this was not what you told me at the initial time. What did I tell you? Oh yes, I met you in the club. We had fun together that night. After then, we parted ways. And I told you I don't want to go into any sort of relationship. So the next thing you did was to stress my house through my friend. Huh? Ify, have you forgotten what you told me that made me allow you to touch me? I, huh? Have I, you forgotten? I have not forgotten anything. I wasn't drunk. I knew everything that happened that night. Okay? Stop forcing yourself on me. If you told me you loved me, that you would want me to be your woman. Have you forgotten? Why are you denying me now? Why all this? Please, I want you to give me a listen and ears. What you're doing to me, it's not fair. You're breaking my heart. If you please, please. Oh, please, I'm begging you. Please, you're breaking my heart. Please. Could you leave my house right now? Huh? Leave my house, please. Just leave. Go, 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 please. Uh, if he, you, you can't you can't send me out of your house. That's not fair. We're talking about you, emotions you here. Are you me or what? No. Will you get up? Just leave. Leave, leave, leave my house. If he, please. Okay. Hey, hey. Please, whatever that I've done to you, I want you to forgive me, please. Come and take this thing away, please. Ma. Ma. Nobody should touch me. Don't touch me. Don't don't touch me. Get out. If he, please, don't touch me. I've been the council. Don't touch me. I'll go fine, but don't touch me, please. Okay, you go now. Fine. Please don't move. Hi. 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 
how are you? I'm fine, good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? What's your name? My name is Ebuka. Ebuka, you're such a smart kid. How are you, Doc? I'm fine, I'm very much fine. Just have a seat, please. Um, Ebuka, please. You have to be without a blessing at the reception. Yeah, Alright, my baby. Alright, see you. See you. Thank you very much. Um, is your guy in? No, oh, no, day. It's not around. Uh, can I wait for him? He's away. I'm coming. Uh, call him on phone. Call him. What exactly do you want from us, Gwanaya? I've told you, I can never come back to you again. Never. Just leave me be. Well, the maybe that is impossible. I cannot let you go. I still love you. Hmm. Let's see. Okay, that's fine. That, that's fine. Okay, okay. See you later then. Alright, bye. So... So what? Uh, like, you see, the baby. There is nothing to talk about anymore. You heard me loud and clear. I'm no longer interested. I have a minute to ask. Who is the smart kid that just left here not, not by long? Who is that boy? You know, before you got in here, I was preparing to go out to have lunch. So I I want to leave now. Excuse me. Well, I know you're trying to dodge the answer. I know that boy is my boy. Oh no, he's not. He's not your son. He's not.
really sorry for keeping you waiting. Are you okay? Hmm? Okay. Cheers. It's a long life and prosperity. So you said you wanted us to talk? Yes, I did. Okay, well, yes. I need you to tell me the truth. Are you seeing another woman? <laughs> Where is that coming from? Is that why your face is like this? Yes. Listen. This has been on my mind. You hardly take my calls. This is not you. This is not the same man I met. I need you to... I mean, tell me something different because... I don't get this. Well, you know, I've been going through a lot. My, my, my father... And and so on. I've explained these things to you. My father's condition has been giving me so much concern. But soon all of this will end. At least he will be discharged tomorrow. You didn't tell me you were going to the hospital to see your father. I would have gone with you. I didn't want to bother you. There's no point. He will be discharged tomorrow. As for the calls, it's just because of all of that. It's okay. Fine. Your son came to my room and told me about one good uncle that visited you today in the office. Hi. That boy is becoming something else. I mean, why does he always talk like an adult? I think it's time I taught him how to tame his tongue. No. What is wrong with him? No, 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 no. Do maybe. <sighs> there is nothing wrong with that. Oh. He's just a kid. He's not he just talks too much, mommy. It's okay. Um, by the way, have you seen Emuka's father lately? He's the good uncle he told you about. Oh, really? Yeah. Mommy. Mommy, I'm not really myself. Honestly, I've been thinking before you got in here. He's so desperate. He wants me back. But I don't know. There is no boat. Do maybe accept him? Honey. Yes. If not for any of that and but for the sake of your son. Mm -hmm. Thank God he's still single. Mommy, what about Charles? He already proposed to me. What do I tell him? That one is not the problem. Oh, mommy. Yes. We'll find a way and explain things to him. Mommy, it's not easy. Trust me. You won't regret it.
What are you doing in my house? Oh, <coughs> Ify, I came to see you. I want us to talk. You want us to talk about what? Haven't I told you not to bother me? Huh? I told you I'm in a serious relationship. What is all this for? Ify, Ify, but this was not what you told me at the initial time. What did I tell you? Oh yes, I met you in the club. We had fun together that night. After then, we parted ways. And I told you, I don't want to go into any sort of relationship. So the next thing you did was to stress my house through my friend. Huh? Ify, have you forgotten what you told me that made me allow you to touch me? I, huh? Have I, you forgotten? I've not forgotten anything. I wasn't drunk. I knew everything that happened that night. Okay? Stop forcing yourself on me. If you told me you loved me, that you would want me to be your woman, have you forgotten? Why are you denying me now? Why all this? Please, I want you to give me a listen and ears. What you're doing to me, it's not fair. You're breaking my heart. If you please, please. Oh, please, I'm begging you. Please, you're breaking my heart. Please. Could you leave my house right now? Huh? Leave my house, please. Just leave. Go, 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 please. Uh, if you, 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 can't, you can't send me out of your house. That's not fair. We're talking about you, emotions are you, here. Are you instructing me on what to do? No. Will you get up? Just leave. Leave, leave, leave my house. If you, please, okay. Hey, hey. Please, whatever that I've done to you, I want you to forgive me, please. Come and take this thing away, please. Huh? You, nobody should touch yeah, me. Don't touch me. Don't, don't touch me. Get out. If you please, don't touch me. If you please, don't touch me. I'll go fight, but don't touch me, please. Go now. Fight. Please, don't touch me. I don't touch Get out. No, I don't. No, I don't. Ifani is playing with fire. He thinks he can use and dump me just like that. As if I am a dog by the roadside. Ah. Hmm. He never knew he was in a serious relationship. When he took me to the hotel, slept with me. I am not going to take it at all. I won't take it. I won't take it. Oh, you finally you must pay. Girl. I went to that idiot's house. If I he threw me out of his house. That fool threw me out of his house. Again? Oh. This guy is wicked. He has stepped on my toes and I am not going to take it. I won't take it at all. Ah, I go show and a street baby now. Eh? He get ready for head. Fine. Well, I told you now, babe. I told you. I told you that night not to go with him. But you insisted on going. Now look what has come out of it. What happened to going your way? Has to pay. Ah ah. You fine. Hey, this guy they play with fire. Ah. If I cannot use and dump me, no, 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 no. It won't happen. It won't happen. It won't happen at all. He was just saying some rubbish like ah. He is in a serious relationship. Really? Like, I don't understand. I'm not in a serious relationship. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. No! He didn't remember he was in a serious relationship before he... When he got into his What he was doing. <laughs> no, he didn't remember. Hey. He did not. Oh, he was promising me heaven and earth. to understand how this picture got to Prince's house. It maybe took this picture about eight years ago. Sis, you're back. Yes, sir. Are you alright? Yes, I'm, I'm okay. I'm fine. Okay. Um, Ibuka has finally met his father today.
Wait a minute. Did the young man come here? She said no. The baby was with Ebuka in the office where he visited. And she also said that she was marveled at the way Ebuka behaved when he met the man as if he knew him before. Did she tell Ebuka that the young man is his father? She didn't say. No, I'm not sure. Do you even know what? I think the man is really pressing so hard to marry Dumi Come on. You know that is not even possible. Dumi is already engaged to Charles. Yes, I know. I can't really say. It's really serious. Though. Really serious. Are you dating Prince? <laughs> what did you just say? I asked a simple question. Are you dating Prince? Is this some sort of joke or what? Of course it is not a joke. You maybe tell me, how did this picture get to Prince's house? <laughs> Prince's house? Yes. This picture? I don't understand you, my sister. <laughs> okay, listen. The last thing I want you to do right now is pretend. Please just come out with the truth and tell me already. I didn't say the truth. How did your picture get to Prince's house? No, Silva. You are the one who should tell me the truth. What are you talking about? This picture you have in here is mine. And it was taken eight years ago. So what exactly are you doing with my picture? Where did you get it from? What is the problem here? See, Mr. Trouble. I was just here on my own. Silva came up with this picture saying that she got it from Prince's house. Ask me what the picture is doing there. I don't even know who the prince is. I have never met him. I don't know who he is. So what are you talking about? You know exactly what I am talking about. And what I'm trying to understand is why you were shouting. I asked you a simple question. This right here is your picture. How did it get to Prince's house? <laughs> Silver, did you ask Prince about this picture? Oh well, I did not. Because I am suspecting that my sister right here is dating Prince. Oh no, Silva. You're way bigger than this. Do not belittle yourself. I mean, do not allow me to see you as a fool. Oh, yeah. Baby, this is the last time I will take.
take another insult from you again. I won't stand there and watch you insult me. No, I, I will. Insult. I will insult you. As a matter of fact, you are a bigger fool to have thought in this little head of yours that I have something to do with a man I have never met. What is wrong with you? Maybe I'm warning you. No, you won't warn me. I am warning you. You will not stand there warning me. I am warning you. You will not warn me. What is wrong with you? Hey, what is wrong with you? Hey, why are you not my man? What is going on? Oh, God. Mother, please, wait. Whatever you hold here, warn your daughter. What do maybe else I will deal with her mess? You won't do nothing! What I mean nothing, absolutely nothing! You can't do anything! Listen, please, just calm down. What is the problem? Mother, nobody should tell me to calm down. I am not going to calm down! I won't keep quiet! Tell her to tell me the truth! How did her picture get to my fiancé's house? Everybody's acting like I'm sounding crazy, but I know what I'm saying. How did this picture get to my fiancé's house? But of course you are sounding crazy! And that is why I will not stop calling you a big fool! You still haven't told me what you're doing, Mother. Where did you get this picture of mine from? Mother, warn her. You may Ask be. her where she got my picture from. You may I will not take any rubbish from her. I don't I did not say what. Oh, will you shut up? What will you say? Shut up, Silver. What is wrong with you? You started this nonsense. Eh? I started what? You were here the whole time she was insulting me and you said nothing. And now you're asking me to shut up? Why? <laughs> I won't take this. All I want is for her to explain to me. Just a simple explanation. How this picture got to my fiance's house. Hmm. Let me have that picture. By the way, who is your fiance? The one that gave you an appointment and disappointed you. <laughs> eh? Mm, not disappointed. Silver, just calm down so we can settle this and we get I don't want to calm down. I just want her to explain to me how her picture got to my fiance's house. And mother is standing here supporting her. Oh no, Silver, don't even go there because it is not over yet. If you don't give me a satisfactory explanation on how that picture got into your hands, I swear I'm going to take this up from here. You're going to take it up? Yes! See this whole thing you're doing? This whole thing is a charade. It's a camouflage and you know it. Now listen, Silver. <laughs> listen! <sighs> when you saw this picture at Prince's house, did you ask him how it got there? Oh, you see, mother? You didn't! And you were here blabbing over a man? What is wrong with you? See, mother, this daughter of yours is nothing but a blatant liar. I am telling you, do not be surprised that the prince of a guy might not even know anything about this picture. And she's here making troubles. Now listen, you have to go and bring that prince face to face. We have to talk about this. Yes, we have to. Yes, that is exactly what we are going to do. Invite him here. Let him come and clear himself. Yes, so tomorrow, tomorrow. If you don't do that, uh -huh, there will not be peace in this house. Silver, you should have taken a beating with this game. Oh, please just shut up. I am the one who is one tempered, right? You all are supporting me, maybe, because I am not your sister. It's fine. It's good. I don't have a problem with that. Everyone treating me this way. Everyone is against me for a case I know do maybe is at fault. How is it even possible? If she is not dating Prince, what was her picture doing in this house? I need an explanation. Someone needs to tell me what is going on. Silva, you're not sleeping. You want me to sleep? How would I sleep when everyone is ganging up against me in this house? Silver, no one is ganging up against you. Please. I know exactly what you're trying to do. You're trying to defend everybody in this house. And I know why things are like that. I mean, I came back to this house with a report that I found to maybe picture in my fiancé's house and not even one person. Nobody said a word. I just want to leave this family, focus on my own family, and just have my life. So you don't talk about that. Please. We are still one family. Yes. We are? 
No, we are not. And I know why things are like this. We don't need to deceive ourselves. Oh God, please just stop crying. Just please. Please. I just want to be left alone. Please. first. She has my son. I just don't know how I'm going to explain this to Silva. I love her too. But I can't marry two wives. <sighs> what do I do now? thinking, have been wondering, how did my picture get to that guy's house? I mean, how? Someone I don't know, someone I've never met, we do not have any relationship. So how did he come about my picture? Huh. Mommy, mommy, I honestly think Silva is up to something. You know what? No matter what her plan is, she must tell us how she came about your picture. Mommy, that is exactly what I'm saying. Silva is frustrated. She's looking for whom to blame for Prince's disappointment. Um, let's wait for him to come here and clear himself. Wait for who? That one. Let's forget about that one. He is not really what Silva said he is. Silva did what? Have you greeted me this morning? I greeted you already this morning. Well, but this is not the first time we're seen today. Ah! How dare you talk to me in that manner? Are you crazy? What did I do to you? I already greeted you this morning. Why did you have to slap me? And I will slap you again if you don't take time. Are you crazy? Eh? Now listen. You have today to tell me how you came about my daughter's picture. Yes. Mom! Mom what? Do you know what you did? She did. You shouldn't have slapped her. Hey, hey, hey. You shut up. You need your own slap. You're 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 Baby, you didn't own the TV. You're crying. What is wrong with you? I'm talking to you. What is it? I have a feeling you will break my heart. Break your heart? How? Who is the woman in your life? There you go again. Which woman? Please, I don't need you to lie to me. Just tell me the truth. Who are you seeing? Seriously, you need to stop thinking negatively. Who is feeding you with such lies? Nobody is feeding me with any lies. I saw it myself. What is she talking about? I hope she didn't take that picture. I don't know how I'm going to tell him that I stole a picture from his house. No. I can't tell him about it. Um, baby. 
baby seriously if, if this is a joke you need to stop it it's not a joke I know exactly what I am saying what are you saying I mean I have introduced you to my father my family knows you if not for the accident he had I would have been to your house to see your mother what else do you want didn't that prove a point to you that I love you and I want to marry you? I'm just scared. I'm losing everything. My family. My sanity. I don't want to lose you. Well, I think it's because you're thinking a whole lot lately. You have to free your mind. Yeah, you really have to. Let me get you something to drink. That will help you. Okay. Hey, cheer up. Yeah. Yeah. There are two women in my life, yeah. I'm in love with one and the other of my kids. Who was that? A lady she used to come here. A lady brought a letter. Yes, sir. Let me have it. Come on, go. You might think you are smart, but someone else is smart. I'm not the type you can give me up. You have done your smart work. Expect my team. Everyone of us must make the feet of ease of our land. No more, no. She's playing a fast one. All I need is information. Oh yes, inquiries. Who is that? The fool is calling. <laughs> Bastard! <laughs> Don't pick it, idiot. Fool. Uh, but girl, what do you think? He must have gotten your message. Uh, definitely. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? When I'm done with him, mm -hmm. he will never try this rubbish with anybody again. In his uh, next life, that if he has any. He will never mess with any other girl. Babe, I beg, no could do that so. Must I go with you? You trying to must go with Ah ah. He's calling again. Ah ah. Let him call till he gets tired. Ah. She's about is now important. For real. <laughs> I beg, not to go. But seriously, babe. Can I just stay home, please? Let me just stay home and. Let's just go to the supermarket and pick something. I beg, I beg, I beg, move the go now. I will only go with you. What condition? We shop for me too. Ha! This girl, don't worry. I'll shop for you. Hey, you know what hey, I'm going to do? It's your money. Hey, I'll shop for you. Hey, 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 what time are you hey, doing? Since you're shopping for me, I'm going with nothing. Oh, I'll, I'll shop for you, girl. Mm. They know they eat your money. I hope you're with your ATM. So, sis, I didn't want us to talk about this at home. So, that's why I am here. Sis, she still forgets whatever thing that happened yesterday. Well, Silva is the problem here. She will have to tell me where she got my picture from. She must tell me. But what if she truly found the picture at Prince's house? Then it's very simple. The prince in question must have to come out and tell me how my picture got to his place. Because I don't know him. To me, I understand. But all I'm saying is let her just settle this amicably without having any grudges with anybody. But she started it first. She started it. I mean, the way she approached me was not nice. 
she angered me by doing that. You know. It's alright. I will talk to her. And I believe she will understand. You better talk to her. The prince must have to come out and explain how my picture got to his place. He must explain, no. He must. But maybe what if this prince is someone you know from years back? That's not true. I have never met anyone by the name Prince. Yeah, I had a friend during my NYSC days, but then the person's name was Ugonea. Really? Yes, really. So I don't know where she got all this rubbish from. I honestly do not know. Well, I will be having a meeting with Charles today. Yes, and I do not have any choice but to tell him about my father's son. Are you breaking up with him? I honestly do not have an answer to that question of yours now. But I wish all this never happened. I mean, I wish Gonia wasn't the father of my son. Then all this wouldn't have even happened in the first place. That's all right, though, maybe. Just put yourself together. And just let the will of God be done. You'll be fine. I have a choice. I have to go now. Alright, I'll see you. Take care, sis. Okay. Did you see the lady that just left my house as we were leaving? Yeah, I saw a beautiful lady leaving the compound as we were going out. She's one of them. Is she the one that had a song for you? No, but I met her first um, well, when I returned um, from the States. My brother, seriously, I'm in a serious feast. Like, I've been thinking a whole lot lately. I have to choose between one of them and... <sighs> well, if I were you, I would choose the one that had a song for me. You know why? Because men who rejected children that were born to them before they got married end up being childless in their own marriage. Mm, you're right. Very correct. At least a better hand is, is better than millions in the bush you get. But I love this lady. I've grown to love her. You get. And the point now is I had proposed to her. You have to use your number six first because this is marriage, not relationship. Seriously, I've been thinking a whole lot lately. Like, I'm thinking, uh, was I fast to propose? Was I? I mean, this whole thing is. is, is let's look for somewhere to just, just chill and think of life, man. There are two women in my life. I'm in love with one and the other of my kid. Hey, hey, somebody tell me what to do. Hey, yeah. Before you, what is it? What is wrong with you? How many times have I made it clear that it's over between us? Why are you following me about? Siva, what has come over you? What have I done to you? Well, you have done nothing to me but I don't want anything to do with you again. Why is it so hard for you to understand? There is nothing to understand. You can't just wake up one morning and tell me you're done with me without a reason. Reason or no reason, I am done with you. Get that into your physical and stop following me about. No way. You must <coughs> tell me your reason. If I, you're harassing me, this is front of a supermarket and I came here to shop. Can I go in, please? Look at him. Who is that lady with me? They don't know. Sylvia, what is your reason? Okay, since I won't shop, you can have the supermarket. In fact, have the whole building. Let's wait. Maybe she's the one. Maybe. Oh, she's walking out. Sylvia, come here. What are we This guy is so annoying. Hey! Look at her. Hey! Just look at the way he's following her. My God! <laughs> this is serious. Please, let's just leave. Let's leave. You said you don't want fish. Oh, yes. I'm very okay with the drink. 
Then we look worried. What is the matter? I am really worried. I am. Share with me. Okay? I honestly do not know how you're going to feel about this. But I have no choice. I have to tell you. Are you pregnant? No, I'm not pregnant. But it has to do with us. Listen, Charles. I haven't told you this before. I have a son. You have a son? Yes, I do. Well, if that is the case, you don't have any problem. I will accept the boy to be my son by the time we get married. That is not it. Listen, okay. I'll just give you a brief of it. Okay. I got pregnant eight years ago. And I lost contact with my friend that got me pregnant. Okay. And then I had the baby. My boy is grown now. He's all about knowing his father. He's so intelligent that he, give, he questions me almost all the time about the father. And I can't keep dodging it all the time. Okay, to cut the whole story short, I have reconciled with my son's father. And then, um, what has that got to do with our relationship? I told you as for the boy, I will accept him as my son. After all, he got you pregnant and abandoned you. That was what I thought until I met him. Listen, Charles, you need to understand with me. Now I'm compelled to do so many things I never wanted to do. All because of this little boy. I don't have a choice, my dear. Please try and understand with me. Understand what? Understand what? What do you take me for? A fool? No. I have told you I will accept the boy. So what else do you want me to say? Listen, I, I need you to really understand See, we I... have come we have come a long way for you to start telling me this bullshit. As for the boy, I will accept him. I don't care who the person is, but I know nobody can take you away from me. Nobody. Charles. I'm sure that lady must be the one he told you he's in a serious relationship with. I thought as much. But did you notice the way she walked out on him? It simply shows they're having issues with each other. And the idiot was just the most oh, just looking <laughs> like a goat. Hey! Huh? Uh -huh. was shocked when he saw me. And but Rita, 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 we, Rita, we F up. We made a mistake. We would have stayed back to monitor that girl. Yes. Um. You know, because that girl face looks very familiar. I'm just trying to remember where I met her. I, I can't remember. I need facts about that girl. She must be the reason if I is messing up with me. <laughs> mm. Okay. Mm. All I know is that I've met that girl. I know I've met that girl before. I don't seem to remember where. Hey, I'm going to be remember. my body. Make her go eat. Let me just go and eat first. Then I'll know what to do to that idiot. I have met that bitch before. I know, but I don't seem to remember where. Silver. Why didn't Prince come today as discussed? I did not see him. That is a fat lie. You met him today. And how did you know we met today? So why didn't he come here as agreed? You won't force words into my mouth. Ah, okay. You know what? You maybe he's right. You're lying to us. Silva is lying to us. And as far as I'm concerned, this case must end this night. You must tell me where you got my picture from. You must tell me. Oh. Can't you just calm down to maybe? Calm down for what? Why are you telling me to calm down? Oh, because you're not the one rightly involved. Now you can talk. You maybe I already told you where I got your picture before. You didn't tell me nothing. I mean, why didn't the guy in question come here and tell me when and how my picture got to his house? <laughs> hey, please, 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 just shut up. What is the meaning of this? Eh? Huh? Maybe I should be the one asking you questions. How did your picture get to my boyfriend's house? Oh, is it because I've been quiet? Because I want peace to reign? Is that why you two want to want to kill me? 
Well, I won't let it happen. Look at this idiot, peacemaker. Are you mad if you call me an idiot one more time? Do maybe. Hey, hey. Do maybe. If you call me an idiot one more time. What will you do? You are, in fact, you are a bigger idiot. A bigger one. What will you do? I want more work for you. Imagine it as a teacher. You can't do anything, please. Silva. You're causing trouble in my house. I mean, I can't even believe that I'm here. That's all you have to say, mother. That I am causing trouble in your house. Mother, you were seated here. Your daughter called me an idiot. You did not caution her. Not even a word. And now Silva is causing problems in your house. It's okay. I'll leave you all to have your peace so I don't cause problems anymore. What has for you? You. Do maybe? What? You. What? Leave us. Just go. Go. But remember, it is not yet over until it's over. You must tell me where you got my picture from. Can you imagine the nonsense? Hey, mommy, what baffles me most is that that picture was taken years ago during my days in NYC camp. So how did the picture get to silver? How? Sister, calm down now. Mommy, calm down. Since, since I'm, I'm really sorry for everything. I'm deeply sorry for what we did to you. I'm so sorry. We are still one family. We are so sorry, sis. We are really sorry. The truth is that I don't even know this prince of a guy. I've never met him. I've not even been to his place. So I was surprised when you said you saw my picture in his house. Please, it is not worth being a problem between you and I. Really sorry, dear. Sis, please. We're sorry. Please. Like Sandra said, we are one big family. Yes. It's okay, okay? Stop crying. Please. It's okay. You say it's okay. You all are saying you're sorry. But you can't do against me. You refused to believe me when I said I didn't know how her picture got to Grace's house. You're telling me you're sorry. Very sorry, please. Let my go, let my go. It's not easy. It is true, I wanted to bury the hatchet with Silva. But I'm still bothered about how my picture got into Prince's house. How did he get my picture? Or is it that someone gave it to him? But how could that be? I still need to set my eyes on this so-called prince of a man. Maybe seeing him might solve this whole problem.
Can you please go to the Oh, are you there? Okay, go to ward 3. Check on that woman there, please. Make sure she takes her medication. Alright. Oh my god. Are you okay? Mom, I'm hungry. Let's start going. I know you're hungry, but just have to calm down, okay? Your auntie will soon be here, so we're gonna have lunch. Mom, isn't the silver coming? Mm hmm. Yay! She's going to have lunch with us. <laughs> oh, she's already calling. Hello, Silva. Oh, okay. What are you doing here? Don't tell me your dad is here. Yeah, but he's in the hospital. Oh my goodness, what a small world. What are you doing here? Oh, well, I'm here to see my sister. We're supposed to have lunch together. And then, I've just been... Oh, here she comes. And that's my sister to me. Wait, your sister. Telling you about my fiance. What are you talking about? This is the father of my son, the Ugonia I've always told you about. So, what are you saying? No, this is my Prince. Prince, I've been telling you about. What? Jesus Christ, what kind of coincidence is this? What have I gotten myself into? Oh, Jesus Christ. How was I to know they are sisters? Huh? What can... Oh, Jesus Christ. What do I do now? What do I do? Yeah, Andy. Where are you? Oh, okay, okay. Just wait for me there. I'm coming, eh? My brother, there's a problem. When I come first. to understand how this picture got to Prince's house. It maybe took this picture about eight years ago. Hey, you back. I don't know you're back. Why is your face like this? Are you okay? Are you dating Prince? What did you just say? I asked a simple question. Are you dating Prince? Is this some sort of joke or what? Of course it is not a joke. You maybe tell me, how did this picture get to Prince's house? <laughs> Prince's house? Yes. This picture? I don't understand you, my sister. <laughs> okay, listen. The last thing I want you to do right now is pretend. Please just come out with the truth and tell me already. I didn't say the truth. How did your picture get to Prince's house? No, Silva. You are the one who should tell me the truth. What are you talking about? This picture you have in here is mine. And it was taken eight years ago. So what exactly are you doing with my picture? Where did you get it from? What is the problem here? See, Mr. Trouble. I was just here on my own. Silva came up with this picture saying that she got it from Prince's house. Asking me what the picture is doing there. I don't even know who the prince is. I have never met him. I don't know who he is. So what are you talking about? You know exactly what I am talking about. 
anyone. So what I'm trying to understand is why you were shouting. I asked you a simple question. This right here is your picture. How did it get to Prince's house? <laughs> Silver, did you ask Prince about this picture? Oh, well, I did not. Because I am suspecting that my sister right here is dating Prince. Oh, no, Silva. You're way bigger than this. Do not belittle yourself. I mean, do not allow me to see you as a fool. Oh, yeah. Baby, this is the last time I will take another insult from you again. I won't stand there and watch you insult me. No, I, I won't. I will insult you. As a matter of fact, you are a bigger fool to have thought in this little head of yours that I have something to do with a man I have never met. Maybe. What is wrong with you? you? Maybe I'm warning you. No, you won't warn me. I am warning you. You will not stand warning me. You will not warn me. You will not warn me. What is wrong with you? Hey, what, what, are you man? Man? what is going oh, on? What is going on? Oh God, mother, please, with whatever you hold dear, warn your daughter. What you may be else, I will deal with her mess. You will do nothing. What I mean, nothing. Absolutely nothing. You can't do anything. Listen, please, just calm down. What is the problem? Mother, nobody should tell me to calm down. I am not going to calm down. I want you quiet. Tell her to tell me the truth. How did her picture get to my fiance's house? Everybody's acting like I'm sounding crazy. But I know what I'm saying. How did this picture get to my fiance's house? But of course you are sounding crazy. And that is why I will not stop calling you a big fool. You still haven't told me what you're doing, mother. Where did you get this picture of mine from? Mother, warn her. Do you Ask her where she got my picture from. Do you I will not take any rubbish from her. I don't know. I did not say what. Oh, will you shut up? What will you say? Shut up, Silva. What is wrong with you? You started this nonsense. Eh? I started what? You were here the whole time she was insulting me and you said nothing. And now you're asking me to shut up? Why? I won't take this. All I want is for her to explain to me just a simple explanation. How this picture got to my fiance's house. Hmm. Let me have that picture. By the way, who is your fiance? The one that gave you an appointment and disappointed you. <laughs> eh? Mm, do not disappoint me. Silva, just calm down so we can settle this amicably. I don't want to calm down. I just want her to explain to me how her picture got to my fiance's house. And mother is standing here supporting her. Oh no, Silva, don't even go there because it is not over yet. If you don't give me a satisfactory explanation on how that picture got into your hands, I swear I'm going to take this up from here. You're going to take it up? Yes! See this whole thing you're doing? This whole thing is a charade. It's a camouflage and you know it. Now listen, Silva. Huh. Listen! Huh. When you saw this picture at Prince's house, did you ask him how it got there? Oh, you see, Mama? You didn't! And you were here blabbing over a man? What is wrong with you? See, Mama, this daughter of yours is nothing but a blatant liar. I am telling you, do not be surprised that the prince of a guy might not even know anything about this picture. And she's here making troubles. Now, listen. You have to go and bring that prince face to face. We have to talk about this. Yes, we have to. Yes, that is exactly what we are going to do. Invite him here. Let him come and clear himself. Yes, so tomorrow, tomorrow. If you don't do that, uh -huh, there will not be peace in this house. <laughs> I won't let it happen. Do you think she's smart? She claims not to know a prince. Or even anything about the picture. Very well then. We shall see who laughs last. Because I will fight. I will fight to claim what rightfully belongs to me. No matter who is standing behind her. Ugonia is the so-called prince that Silva has always talked about. He did not cross my mind when Silva came home with my picture she found in his house. He didn't even occur to me that Prince 
इस माई को निया हेलो Won't you check them? No, well, I'm sorry, I can't accept it. Why? What is wrong with you? You want us to start going all over this again? All over what? Am I not talking to you? Are you okay? Listen, I don't want to go all over this again. I have already explained the situation of things to you. All you need to do is to just understand with me. Yeah, I disappointed you, but I'm sorry about that. I can continue. I can see you are hell bent in destroying my life. Tell whoever that is advising you that he or she is endangering your life because nobody tries to my calibrity and remain the same. Yes, if you think I can leave you for another man. You are making a very big mistake. You better have everything. Is this yes. a threat or what? Are you threatening me? Don't allow me to do what both of us will regret. What's the meaning of this rubbish? Now get out of my office. To me, if I can't have you, nobody can. Charles, leave my office. Take this thing. Take this thing and get out. What nonsense! You're threatening me? Oh, goodness. Brother, I was so shocked to the bone marrow. I couldn't believe my eyes. Come see confusion. Sylvia was calling me Prince, and Dumebi was calling me Ogonaya. Like, I was damn confused. I, I felt like a dog on a leech. Hmm. One, eh? it is not your fault, but somehow, you are to be blamed. How? Yes. Because you are too fast in proposing to Siva. You just met this lady. And immediately you proposed to her. You should have given her some time, at least, to study her. You don't have to blame me. Okay? Because I didn't know I was going to meet Dumebi again. Do you know how long I searched for her? That is why I said it is risky to rush such thing. You understand? If you did not rush it, you wouldn't have fought this victim. Well, uh, look, I, I didn't call you here to, to, to start blaming me, all right? Uh, but I want us to put hands together and know what to do because I'm confused. Well, you cannot marry two sisters at the same time. That is a problem. Like, that is a damn problem. I, I don't even know who to choose. Dumebi has a baby for me and I've grown to love Sylvia, so the whole thing is complicated. You see, I'm also confused. You are the one who know these girls. Take your time. Do not rush so that you will not make a mistake. Silver, you have heard what uh, Dumebi said. And I plead with you to forget about your affair with Ugonaya. I should forget my affair with who? Ugonaya. Mother, you know that is not even possible. I won't even think about it. I won't give it a second thought. For what? Fine. She met Ugonaya before me. Accepted. I don't have a problem with that. But mother, that was in the past. We are talking about the present. This young man lost contact with her. Met me and proposed to me. Showing indication that he has forgotten his past and living in his present. Please, kindly tell your daughter to stay away from Ogunaya. Biko, you have lost your sanity. You're just talking rubbish. Oh, I'm talking rubbish. Yes, whether I am talking rubbish, that is none of my business. It is even none of your own business. Just stay away from my man. Uh, well, you're deceiving yourself, my dear. I do not blame you. Keep blabbing. And I ask you again. Are you aware 
that the young man in question is Ebuka's father. So? I should jump into the lagoon because he's Ebuka's father. Mother, that is none of my business. I don't care. If he wants to adopt Ebuka as his son, mm, but that will be after our wedding. Accepted. But Dumebi should not use her son as an excuse to take my man away from me. Can you hear yourself speak? I mean, can you see how senseless you are? Talking rubbish. Anyway, I don't have time for whatever you're saying. But just have it in this little head of yours. That Ugonia <laughs> is mine and mine forever. Yes, of course it is. Yes, I don't deny you. are betting me. Yes! You're betting me. How would I bet you? What nonsense is this? Just me. What is wrong with my sisters? Why are you two fighting each other over a man? No, nothing is wrong with me. Tell Silver to go back to her wretched boyfriend and leave my man alone. She should go back to her boyfriend. Look at me, we, we. All of the night, you are talking about me going back to my boyfriend. You that left Charles because you saw a rich man uncle. You're not just stupid, but you're also insensitive. Who left Charles? Who left Charles? Well, God knows I did not leave Charles for anybody. I left him because of my son. My son wants to be with his father and his father wants to be with me as well. So what nonsense are you saying? What about you? Why did you leave Ifani? Why did you leave Ifani? Why? You should be ashamed of yourself. Mother, please. Water. her. Water. her. I haven't taken any insults from my You're a she What do you do? You're a she goes. And what was that? Um, please. What's that? Um, save her. You are causing confusion in my house. I've told you exactly what to do, but you refused. What exactly do you want? Mom, please take it easy with her. Hey! And you, will you shut up? One shut up! What do you want? That's all you have to say. As a mother, that is all you have to say. It's all right. I understand exactly what is going on in this house. She is your daughter. I am not. So you always take sides with her. I don't have a problem. Just continue. But I want to let you and you know. You see this battle? You must move. Who are you talking for money, man? What you said it now? You are in love with her. Oh, my father. Can you imagine how senseless this girl is? She doesn't even care. She said after her wedding, she cannot come and come and claim it with her back. I will be fed up by you. Don't tell me to do who come down also. You were here, she was doing all sorts, eh? You couldn't say it. He said, sister, calm down. Don't calm me down, no. I don't want to calm down. Call me an orphan. They say I am homeless. And they try to take the only thing that gives me. Hi, sis. Please, can I talk to you? Sandra, as far as you all are concerned in this house, I do not want to speak to anybody. Please. Siva, why are you sounding this way? I have not done anything wrong to you. Well, how about you going to talk to your sister to stay away from my man? Siva, so you don't appreciate the fact that I came to talk to you? Oh, you came to talk to me. You know, you all are just too sentimental in this house. I have come to realize that I'm all by myself. So please, just let me be. Please. Sira, I don't like the way you sound these days. Well, since you want to be left alone, I will let you be. I will fight. I will fight. If no one speaks for me. We'll speak for myself. I will fight. I will fight. No. Surprised to see me, right? Well, um, it's good to see you again. See, I've been looking out, looking out for you after the last time we met at the supermarket. 
It was just yesterday I got to know that you work at the hospital and that you normally come to eat here. What do you want from me, John K? Oh, do I be? You left me with no choice. I was so worried about you. Now, tell me, who was the little boy I met you with at the supermarket? Should I say you're jobless or what? Man, you listen and listen very attentively. Junkie or whatever your name is called. Stay away from me and anything that has to do with me generally. Do you understand that? Rubbish. Do maybe. What class is he? <laughs> Busy three. Really? He must be very intelligent. He is really, really intelligent. <laughs> I think boy. he got that from you. I swear to mm. <laughs> Big boy. Yeah. Auntie! Hello. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine, Auntie. Mm -hmm. Auntie, guess what? What? Um, my mom said uncle is my father. What is she doing here? I asked the question, what exactly is she doing here? Uh, see then, please, uh, let's just take it to your pill. Um, we can, we can sort that. It's on my oh, phone. Please just shut up. You know there is nothing to sort out. You are engaged to me. She is engaged to another man. So why is she in your house? Excuse you? And who cares? Who cares if you're engaged to him or not? Now you listen and listen very attentively. You being engaged to him means absolutely nothing to me. Did you hear that? <laughs> he, he is the father of my beloved son. And the earlier you get that into this thick brain of yours, the better for you. So why don't you just leave us alone? Go to Ifani, leave Ugonaya alone. I am no longer with Ifani. We were just friends before I met Prince. But I want to ask you a question. Why are you endangering the life of this man? Because you and I know that Charles would not be alive and see you date another man. So tell me, why are you here? So what? So what? Oh, Silva, you think I'm a fool like you who left your man miserably because you saw a good-looking young man that is well-to-do. But I'm sorry to disappoint you. This man right here is mine. Oh my! Please! And for your information, I have settled with Charles. <laughs> please, please, can you people just take a chill pill for once? We have a kid here! Mm. Besides your sisters... Oh, please oh, shut up! This little is not my sister. You don't tell me to shut up. I will say it. If she is my sister, she would want my peace. But no, she wants everything I want. Now she wants you. But trust me, babes, you won't get him. Excuse me? And who wants to be your sister? Who wants to be close to you? Hello? Who wants to? Silver, you should be ashamed of yourself. You are nothing but a fool. Shut up! Shut up! Oh my God. Can you stop? Can you stop? Just let me Don't bring this in my house! Oh, no, no. Right. I will save that from you! Silver has started again. And this time, I will make sure I teach her a lesson she will not forget in a hurry. Mama, what has she done again? Your sister just called me. That she met her at Ugonia's house, beat her up, and got her wounded. What is wrong with Silver? She has beaten more than she can chew. Let her come back and meet me. She will come and meet me in this house. What did you do to my daughter? What? Oh, come, 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 come,
house. What is it? Silver, did you just push my mom? Who is this rat? Are you sick or something? Did I touch her? I left, I left him with his father. Is his father aware of this arrest? No, I didn't tell him, mother. I know if I had told him, he wouldn't have allowed me to do that, so I didn't tell him. I don't understand. Does it mean he's in support of what she did to me? Mommy, honestly, I don't understand Ugonaya in this particular issue. I think he's trying to play a double shuffle game. But all I know is that she's going to suffer for everything she has done. Yes. Um, you know what? Whether he likes it or not, <laughs> he must settle with you. No, he doesn't have a choice. I want a choice. He doesn't have a choice. Nonsense. Nonsense. No, no, you're killing my daughter. No, I'm so proud of you. Nah, you are one of them. Next time, I will give her the best sitting of her life. I will give her the best sitting of her life. You must take that point back of your watermelon. Take it out. Stop, stop, stop your hand. Take it off your hand. Maybe has made good at threat. She doesn't pick my calls anymore. She dodges me each time I visit the hospital she's working. It's no longer a child's play. Someone is trying to destroy my relationship with her. I must find out who the person is. Yes, I must find out. I went to the police station. You went to the police station? Yes. You mean you arrested Silva? Yes, I did. I mean, I had to do that. I won't let her inflict such wound on me and go scot-free. It's maybe, never done. Do maybe you went too far. You <gasps> couldn't have taken such actions without telling me. What are you talking about? Weren't you here when she first attacked me? And you were blaming me? For real? Oh, I see. Oh, do maybe what I'm trying to say. No matter what, all right? You both are sisters for crying Oh, out please, loud. I don't want to hear that. I honestly do not want to hear that. Just look at you. All the love you've been professing to me all are false. But we can sort this out without involving the police. There is nothing, say. absolutely nothing to sort out. You don't love me, you don't care about me. You're only with me because of my son. But I promise you, my dear, I cannot be fooled again. Rubbish. Excuse me. What are you trying to do? What are you... I am going with my son. This your double shuffle game will not work on me again. There are two women in my life, 
I'm in love with one and the other of my kid. Hey, hey, somebody tell me what to do. Hey. Has Nibi come back? She has not. Mom, what are we going to do about her? About who? Silva, of course. Mom, we can't allow her to spend the night in that police cell. By now, she must have learned her lessons. Sandra, if you are expecting me to go and bail Silva, <laughs> then you are making a mistake. She brought it upon herself, so let her face the consequences. Mom, go. Mama, good afternoon. Auntie, good afternoon. What's up? Mom, you can't believe that Ugunai was very angry with me because I got Siva arrested. You can't believe that. I don't understand. How? I am telling you the truth. He was so angry. So I also got annoyed and left. Left with my son. He, he cannot take me for granted. He can't. But he doesn't have any right to be angry with you. Of course he doesn't have any right. I mean, I am his wife to be. He should understand that. And he got so angry because I arrested Silva. But whatever it is, he will never ruin my life. Never will he. Mom, you're not saying anything. I'm in love with one and the other of my kid. I'm sorry about what happened. Honestly, I I blamed your sister when I learned about your arrest. Bernice, I have told you, Dumibi is not my sister. Please just stop referring to her as my sister. She is not my sister. Oh, no, my love, no matter what. She still remains your stepsister. You know what? The best thing you can do for me right now is just to keep short. Don't talk to me again. I told you at the police station, don't speak to me. Let me just have my peace, please. At least can I say one Thank more thing? Thank you. Or should I leave the bottom of Should I tell Silva to go? Mommy, what exactly do you want me to do with this? Honestly, I... I don't want to fool myself the second time. You will not make any mistake. Do maybe. The last thing you will do at this moment is to give in. Don't ever try it. Mommy, what if Ugonia decides to marry Silva? Am I not going to kill myself? He will do no such thing. Listen, you have to fight for the sake of your son. I mean, what do you mean my son? What about me? Look at my neck. If all this is because of my son, then I am not going to accept to go near again. It has to be about me as well. <sighs> my daughter, believe me, I will not stay alive. And what Siva? Mario Ugonia. Mommy, what I'm actually saying right now is that Ugonia can be very foolish at times. Don't be surprised, he will go to the police station and bail Silva. <laughs> no matter what happens, he will never marry Silva. Call me an orphan. They say I am homeless. Why did you bring me back here? Relax here. Yeah. I, I got your new clothes. You can you can change change to. Thank you. Okay. So I made food and I have some fruits. Um, no, not not to worry. I'll, I'll rather just go home. No, no. You, you can't go, Silva. You still you still angry with me. I'm sorry. Okay. I don't want you to go home now. 
When you get home, you might start another trouble. Just, just stay back. Please. I can get you food, you eat, relax and rest. But I have to go to work tomorrow. I can't, I can't go to work from here. Hey. You can. It's my house. Please, you just stay back. Okay. Should I say I'm bored? I, I want you to keep me company. It's all right. Let, let me go in. You're crying. Oh, I'm fine. It's okay. I'll stay back. All right. Let, let me go get your food ready then. And, and, and your clothes, you're, you're going to change too. Hmm? Okay. So finally, I get to spend the night in Prince's house. Exactly what I have always wanted. I am going to take advantage of this. Definitely. When are we going to visit Daddy? Okay, we'll discuss that once she returns from school, okay? Mom, are you quarreling with him? No, I am not quarreling with him. Yeah, why are we not waiting to Oh him? my goodness, Ibuka, why do you talk too much? Have you suddenly forgotten that you were a child? But Mom, he's my daddy and I want to... Alright, calm down, we will have that sorted out. Okay? I'm <coughs> see you over. Good morning. You thought you had your way right. Or you felt you had everything going for you. You thought I was going to pass the night at the police cell. Well, newsflash, darling. The same man you have been dragging with me came to the police station to bail me. Hmm. Don't you want to know where I slept? Oh, she doesn't want to know. <laughs> but I'll let that pass, okay? <laughs> This is just the beginning. Definitely, I will win this race. Have a nice day and use the rope properly for the boy. What did she say? Mommy, you can't believe this. Do you know that, oh my goodness, Ugunde is a useless man? Do you know that he actually went and bailed with her? I know just that. She slept in his house. And then later he will come calling, begging. What sort of a man is that? Uh, hold on. She slept in his house? Yes. And I'm sure he bought that dress she's wearing. That man is so stupid. Oh my God. Ugunye is a big fool. Later he will come calling, begging me. Um, what sort of a man is that? Why is your stockings? Calm down, please. Um, let me continue for me. Good morning. Yeah. Good morning to you too. You're surprised to see me, right? I won't let you crack your head too much. My boyfriend bailed me yesterday. I don't bother to ask where I slept. You see, you all. You all have failed. You have failed. Silva, do you really think I was part of the arrangement for your arrest? Oh, please. Spare me. Don't even try to patronize me. Of course, you're part of every arrangement made against me in this house. If that's how you say it, fine. Then let it be. Of course. Let it be. And so shall it be. I mean, obviously, I'm alone in this house. Alone. Silva. You're going to regret this. Oh no, please. 
let me make this clear to you. I won't regret nothing. Not one thing. I'm fighting for my rights. I wish you good luck then. Well, thank you, dear stepsister. They say I am homeless and they try to take the only thing that gives me joy. No. Please take this to Dr. Nat. Yes, <clears throat> my son's um, school bus will soon drop him at the gate. Once they arrive, please bring my son in. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Oh, God. Yeah, who is that? Come in. Hi, doctor. You have no right to come to my office again. You are not welcomed here. Please leave. I've come to see you. Why have you come to see me? Can you at least offer me a seat? No, you will not sit in my office. Please go to her. You have chosen her, right? Go to her. I don't care. Leave my son and I alone. You cannot break my heart once again. You can't. What is that lady you talking about? Of course you know exactly what I'm talking about. Do not give me that pretentious look. Silva slept at your house last night, didn't she? She did. And to think that I came and left in anger. You couldn't call me to know how I'm faring. And you're here trying to pretend as if you do not know what you have done? Like, seriously? Well, I didn't want to call you. I wanted to come so we can sort everything out face to face. I don't want to sort anything out with you anymore. I don't want to sort anything out. You have chosen her, right? Go to her. Get married to her. Do everything, whatever you want to do with her. Go ahead. I am done. Don't Leave me, us be. To me, be. Just take it chill. Leave me alone. Do not. Oh, my boy, how are you? No, fine, Dad. Good boy. How was school today? Fine, Dad. Dad, I know you must have come to reconcile with Mommy. Come. Gunia scolded my daughter because she arrested Silva. That means he's still very much interested in her. She's so desperate as a matter of fact. She can do anything to take Ugonia away from my daughter. <sighs> you may be my daughter. It is time you sat up and took the bull by the horns before Seva takes us on our ways. Babe, I couldn't believe it when I entered the office. So she, <laughs> she works in the office? She works as an accountant in the insurance company. And you said you saw a fan in there too? Oh, <laughs> I saw him. Did he recognize you? How could he recognize me when all of his attention was just focused on her? I left immediately. I can't stand them. Babe, what are we going to do now? You know, I was thinking while coming back, and then I had this idea. But it depends on if you are capable. Okay, come on. I am capable of doing anything. Mm. Anything at all. Really? Yes. So you better start talking because the lane is dangerous. Okay. Start talking. I am listening. <laughs> They call me an orphan. They say I'm adopted. Hey! What are you doing here? I should be asking you that question. Is this your father's house? Do you I don't want to get upset. You will take 
take your little silly self out of this house. Else, I'm forced to throw you out. Are you raving mad? Please, please, Silva, do not display your foolishness once again. Don't even try it. What's all this? Oh, you actually slept here again? I did not just sleep here. He invited me over. I mean, he asked me to come stay with him because he knows my worth. <laughs> he knows I am not as cheap as oh you are. Oh my God, you wish. You know what? I'm not going to take this rubbish from you again. But gone are those days when I did. I will not do that again. Now you take your miserable self out of this house right now. And I would not say one more. Are you okay? Ugune, I'm so disappointed in you. So after coming to beg me, after everything, you still stood so low to bring this thing inside this house? What is wrong with you? Maybe just take it to your pillow, I can't speak. Oh, please shut the hell up! <laughs> explain what? Mm -hmm. What are you explaining to her? You would do yourself so much good by telling this nitwit to get out of this house, else I'll push her out myself. Now you tell those whore to take her miserable self out of this house right now. Get out! You are a prostitute! You can't be a whore! I know you! You are a prostitute! Are you serious? You are like now! Mom, she didn't tell me where she was going to. Okay. Go and get my phone. Let me call her. Let me call her with my phone instead. Mm. What happened today? Can you imagine that I went to Gonia's house and I saw Sia over there? She had the nerves to confront me and ask me to leave the house. Can you imagine? I'm telling you. But I'm waiting for her. Silver asked you out of Gonia's house? <laughs> Mom, I do not have water in my mouth. She asked me out. But trust me, mother, I dealt with her. Anyway, I trust you. And I know exactly what you can do. Mom, it's not done yet. I am waiting for Silva. Oh, she thinks she's smart. But I will show her another side of the game that she hasn't seen in her entire life. Stupid girl. Go ahead. I am solidly behind you. Thank you, mother. Hey, look at Silva. 
So Siva doesn't want peace to reign in this house. Oh no, she obviously doesn't want peace to reign. But trust me, sis, I will give it to her back to back, however she wants it. Exactly. What bitch? Nonsense. Silva. Really? Look what's over. <laughs> I know exactly what to do. I will place her where she belongs. Wow. An adopted child belongs to the orphanage home. Very soon, <laughs> she'll go back to where she belongs. She has no place in my own house. Did my mom just say that Silva was adopted? No, 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 no. Maybe she was just joking. But what if she was adopted? Mom! Silva is only desperate about Ogona because of his wealth. But I am so going to frustrate all her efforts. I sure will. Yeah. Oh, I. Yeah. There are two women in my life. Yeah. I'm in love with one and the other of my kid. Yeah. Hey. Somebody tell me what to do. Yeah. Because I'm stuck in the middle, I don't know where to go. Hey, there are two women in my life. Oh, I'm in love with one and the other of my child. Hey, somebody tell me what to do. Hey, yeah. Because I'm stuck in the middle, I don't know where to go. I don't know, oh, hey, should I tell Silva to go? Yes, let's put all these things behind us. Put what behind us? I'm asking you, put exactly what behind us? You were here to maybe had the guts to come into this house to fight me. And even gave me a cut and you're telling me to put it behind. Behind what? Please leave me. I'm, I'm, I'm not saying we shouldn't push it further. Uh, let the sleeping dog lie. There is no sleeping dog in this matter. No sleeping dog. You're just going to go in there. Pick up my things, go back to the office, take permission. And when I meet her at home, it won't be funny. Leave me! I, somebody. Mom, are you okay? No. Mom? My son, I am not okay at all. I'm not okay. Why? I am hurting inside of me. I am, I am not okay. Your father is hurting me. He's making things very difficult for me. call him so I will tell him to stop hurting you. You will do that for me? Yes, mom. Listen, my son. I am going to call your father now. All I want you to do is to tell him that if he doesn't stop seeing Silver, that he will never set his eyes on you again. Will you do that for me? Yes, mom. Hello? Good afternoon, Dad. Good afternoon, my boy. How are you? I'm not fine. What happened? Did anyone trouble you? It's you. Why are you hurting, Mom?
Mom, I've been thinking about the comments you made concerning Silver this morning. Remind me, please. Mom, you said that Silver was adopted. Is that true? Yes, it is true. Mom, but you said Silver's mother died after giving birth to her. That was a lie your father told me. But I later found out the truth. This is unbelievable. Is the maybe aware of this? No. <laughs> but she will she will find out too. I don't understand. Grandma! Oh! Sorry. How are you, son? I'm fine, Grandma. Grandma, guess what? You know I can't guess. Just tell me, please. What is it? I spoke with Daddy today on phone. Okay. So, <laughs> what did you tell me? I told him to stop seeing Auntie Silva, else he will not see me again. <sighs> Good. High five. <laughs> That's my grandson. I'd like to call it. Um, you know what? I will take me to buy something for you today. Yay! Thank you, Grandma! Grandma, I love you! I love you, I love you. <laughs> I love you too. Grandma, let me go play with my ball. Okay. Go. Yeah. This, is, this is so hilarious. What kind of a child is this? <laughs> hey! Imagine. Um, hey, stop. I'm beginning to enjoy this whole day. Silver has lost out for good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, yeah. That boy said that to you? My brother, like, I couldn't believe my ears. You need to hear the way this boy speak. I was shocked. Like, I'm yet to recover from the shock. He sounds so bold and so courageous, like you would think you're talking to an adult. This is amazing. I'm so confused, seriously. I don't even know what to do. Oh, please stop calling me. Who? Sylvia. I need to get I need to get myself together. So what have you decided now? I don't even know. To tell you the truth, I don't know what to do. Because of all, all, all these, I, I, I took my father back to the village when he was discharged from the hospital. Because I don't want him to witness all of this at all. Well, if you ask me, I will say the little boy has settled the case for you. How? You are asking me how? I don't know, that's why I'm asking you how. <laughs> When I have a mother, they call me an orphan. Why is he not taking his calls? I'm just calling to tell him I'm staying back in the office. He got the call. going on? Is he angry with me? I don't think do anything. He's still caught in a call. Something must be wrong. Leave me alone! Leave me! You think I'm a mother? What the hell do you think you are? You really want to kill me in this house? You want to kill me? No, really? Yeah, I am not a mother. You are not! I am a bad mother. You are a bad Where is your mother? You want to talk about Where is your mother? I don't understand. She doesn't know she's adopted. And she's here in my father's house trying to drag space with me. It won't work. And you call me adopted. <laughs> oh, my darling. That is a big lie. I am not adopted. My father never made mention of it before he died. So, tell those lies to the mm. birds and not me. Do you know why? Do you know why? Mm. Because he never wanted you to know. That is a fat lie! 
He is a fat life of the pit of hell. You all want to gang up and deceive me. It won't work. It won't work. You are a heartless woman. It won't work. Enough of it. Enough of it. I can't stand here and watch you insult my mother. Have you gone crazy or what? Who the hell are you? Well, let me make this clear to you. If you think your mother is a good woman, advise her. It's a simple advice. Tell her to advise her daughter. She ah! Good. Very good. Very good. Again. Are you stupid? 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 If no one speaks for me, I will speak for me. What is this? Why is he not taking my calls? I've been calling him since morning. Why is he doing this to me? What have I done wrong? I think I should call it a second one. Switched off. Priest, what have I done to you? Why are you doing this to me? Ah, small thing in the dawn, they talk too much. If I talk back, they start to shout at me. If I shout, they'll start to fight with me. What have I done to them? I will fight and I won't quit. Till I get what we lost. Auntie, why are you crying? Or is it because I told Daddy to stop seeing you? What did you say? Yes, he always hurt mommy because of you. So I called and asked him to stop seeing you. Sick your lips. You silly self out of here before I get the living daylight out of you. Get out! I said get lost! Get, get out! Wait a minute. Could this be the reason Prince stopped taking my calls? You're this little rat! Just go home, we'll see you tomorrow, please. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Are you asking me out of your house? Not necessarily asking you out. What's going on there, babe? Daddy. Oh, nothing, I'm sorting it out already. So now what? Sylvia, oh, that is why I said for your own good that you should just go home. Oh, we have a visitor. So what exactly is she doing here at this time of the night? Daddy, I've told you to stop seeing Auntie Silva. You're hurting mommy again. Sweetheart, you don't have to stress yourself, okay? Because okay. Daddy will have her thrown out. So let's go inside and wait for him. Hmm? Okay, Mom. Hmm. Busy body. Oh, oh, oh.
This is it. This is the reason you haven't been taking my calls. I'm sorry. She has my child. Stop talking nonsense! You proposed to me before you met her again! I proposed to her first before we lost contact. <laughs> Please, my love, I promise I'll make peace between the both of you. Shut up! Let you make a fool of me. Let me see how that idiot will boast again in this house. That one. I don't even know where she is. Are you saying she's not in your room? She's not, Mom. Okay. Guys, this is the height of it. And I've had it up to here. Whoever gave her that advice should wait for the repercussion because when it comes, you all in this house would regret it. What is your problem, Silva? I mean, why are you disturbing us this night? You want to know what my problem is? Sandra, I am asking you, you want to know what my problem is? Not to worry. When the time comes, you would know. Bunch of idiots. <laughs> Hi. Guess where she was coming from. Who could be that house, of course? And I suspect she met to maybe an it got there. That is why she's boiling in anger. <laughs> Hi! This is just the beginning. She has not seen anything. I'm not aware of this. I'm not aware of this. My father said I was still very tender when my mother died. That he had to remarry my stepmother so she could take care of me. I don't understand. Why would she tell them that you were actually adopted? I don't. I don't know. I don't know why they are doing this to me. And now my fiance is even complicating matters. What? What is happening between you and your fiance? <sighs> oh, please. He dumped me to be with my stepsister. Probably she told him that I was adopted. It is a lie. Have you discussed this with someone? Probably your uncle. Yes. Discuss this with do that, Amanda. I'm even ashamed to do that. What if I was truly adopted? Sweetheart, you can't die in silence. You need to discuss with your uncle. Yes. I think he's in a better position. Because I believe he's the only one who will tell you the truth. Yes. They won't listen to him. I know them. Don't you have villagers? Do you want of course? Yes, they should look into all this. You don't need to die in silence, my dear. Please. No? Oh? Just Vito, no, no, you need to tell someone. I'm just tired. I understand I, your I, pains. Eh? Don't discuss it with your uncle, please. I don't want to go back to our house. I want to stay in that house. Mm -mm. Don't say that, sweetheart. You will have to come with me to our house, okay? Mom, I don't want to go to your house. I want to stay with daddy. <laughs> hey, what hell are we a bicycle? What's wrong with you? Okay, you know what? Don't worry. I will be getting married to your father very soon. And once that happens, we will both move into daddy's house together. Yay! Are you okay now? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> you wouldn't kill me this boy. Mom, your phone is ringing. Yes, I can see that. <sighs> Hello? Yeah, this is Dumebi. Mom, what is it? What hospital? What? When? Are you... I will, I will be right there. Mom, what is... Mom, what is... Oh. <laughs> 
Who could that be? Uh -huh. I'm not expecting anybody. Uh -huh. Your face is not bright. See any problem? What happened to you? My stepmother and her daughters did this to me. You mean Lola and her daughter did this to you? Yes. Come, come and sit down. You mean Laura and her daughter did this to you? Yes. What happened? Uncle, a lot has been happening in that house. I have taken too much. My heart is filled with so much pain right now. But the last straw that broke the camel's back is the reason I am here. Uncle, I need to know this. Was I adopted? Who said so? My stepmother said I was adopted. Please just tell me, was I? Laura opened her mouth and said you were adopted. Uncle, that is the exact word she said to me. Was I adopted? God forbid. Uncle, she has told her children and the word has spread like wildfire. Everybody's I mean, they're beginning to tell people. I need to know, was I adopted? You mean Laura opened her mouth and said you were adopted? Oh, Jesus. Uncle, please just tell me. Why is Laura this wicked? She has forgotten what she promised my brother. That she's going to take you as her daughter. Anyway. You were never adopted. You are part of our family. Your blood runs in our family. Laura must explain the meaning of this abominable comment. And I'm not going to take it lying low. She must explain. Anyway, just wait for me. Let me go. What is it? Do maybe just called me. She asked me to come to the hospital immediately. What happened? She said something like, um, Ugo Nea was shot by some unknown person this afternoon. <laughs> is he dead? She didn't say. She just asked me to come to the hospital immediately. <sighs> Who could have done this? Mom, I need to go to the hospital. I know what is going on right now. It's okay. Just let me know when you get there, okay? Okay, Mom. Nothing happened to you. Ha! I'm Zeva. Uncle. Mm. This man here, yeah, I'm okay. This is Mr. Kenman. He is our chairman. This is DK. Now, repeat before them what you told me in my house. Greetings, my elders. I am Lady Girl Four's daughter. I've been having problems with my stepmother and my stepsisters. And that is because my stepmother told her daughters that I was adopted. What? Aro! Come, they say this to a daughter of this land? Mba! 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 Wait, 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 wait. My daughter, go on, continue. Since then, we've been having issues. 
they've, they've been spreading this news around. Telling people that I am not part of the family because I was adopted. I had no choice but to come to my uncle to report the matter to him. Silva, are you sure what you told us just now is the truth? I'm very sure. My stepmother even threatened that I have no share in my own father's property. Hey! This is, this is wickedness of the first order. What is this? It's okay. Okay, man. We have had our daughter. We are going to take this case off. It's a serious one. We are going to handle it immediately. Mm -hmm. Mm, so what it? So what it? Thank you. Um, Omongam, please. I would want this matter handled with utmost dispatch. This is getting out of hand. Uh, you don't worry, no problem. Um, we are going to send for you very soon. You get a message. Hmm? You don't worry, sir. You can go with that. Thank you very much. Vicky! Vicky! Yes, Papa? Come here. Come, come, come. Have you called your brother, Mr. Vicky? If I did do, but he's not taking his call. Call him again. I want to ask him here if he has gone to see the parents of that young girl he brought to me here the other day. I'll do that later, but I'm doing my assignment. Oh, yeah, we we'll call it now, not later. We'll but, but, but why are you so obsessed with all this issue? Who Gonya will tell you when he wants to go and meet them? Look, I've been interested in that lady. Is that clear? And I want my son to marry her. So I don't want stories. Is that clear? Uh, I'll vet. Let me go and get my food. Yes, but I do. I can imagine. This is something my son would have done the married, uh, traditional marriage arrangements all this while. If not for the accident I had. Eh? I have to pressurize him to get this thing done now, so as soon as possible. Now that I'm alive. Do not be troubled, my daughter. Eh? Our kinsmen are handling it. What have I done to my stepmother? What wrong did I ever do to her? What? She's just been unnecessarily wicked. I wish your mother did not die. She was a kind woman. So good. I remember my dad used to say that a lot. Oh. I remember that Black Thursday. Your father came back from the city and I came to see him. Ah! Ah! Oh my way, oh my way, the man is too much. Sorry. 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 Just manage, manage, okay? Manage. Ah! Sorry. 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 What's the matter now? Please, I'm about to be calm, please. Okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Rose, it's okay, sorry. Where's the key? Open the camera, open the camera. Sorry, sorry. Oh, man, hurry up and take me to the hospital. Oh, sorry, sorry. Open the camera. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, man. Let me go, let me go. Sorry. Sorry, go to the front, sorry, go to the front. Go for let's go. Hey! Sorry, no, sorry, 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 sorry. Hey.
What ah. happened? What happened now? Ah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Baby, I'm sorry. Ah. I'm coming. Let me change it. Oh. Oh, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh. I'm coming. Yeah. Oh, my God, it's okay now. Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, oh it's coming, okay. sorry. Oh, oh. oh sorry. Oh. What is that now? Oh! What's going on? What's happening again? What's happening again? What happened again? I, don't, I don't know. My body head, everything like that. I, I don't know. Let, let me check again. Oh. Hey, hey. Start, start again. Uh, on the walls. Come on, man. Please. Go, 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 Hey, wait, 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 man, huh? Is it? Is it? Is it? What's going on now, friend? Mr. Man, I've told you to calm down, please. Well, calm down. Calm down. We're here. Yeah. Is it? Yes. How is my wife? Has she put to bed? No, sir. She has not put to bed. Up to now. We have been here since one hour. What is happening, nurse? She's okay. Sir, they don't want to see you. They don't want to see me. I hope all is well. It's not because we are now. It's coming to me. Come down. I'll wait till you're ready. If I start, I'll wait till you're ready. Go and see him. She'll be fine. Oh, what is happening now? Huh? What is happening? I've not seen my brother since two hours now. Huh? Even the nurses are not saying anything to me. What is happening now? What is this? We talk about one now. There's no problem. But you're worried. The doctor just did have for serious. Operation? Yes. Ah! You can't follow me? I just signed some papers that happened. And I have donated the fine for her. Don't worry. She'll be fine. She'll be fine. Don't worry. Hmm? Let's go inside and sit down. I don't understand why this is happening to me. I don't understand. Some days after that, okay? Come down. She'll be fine. I never, I never see this coming. I never see it coming. She'll be fine. She still have a week to her delivery. My brother, we have God. She'll be fine. Let's go inside. Sorry. It's okay. Let's go inside. Let's go. Had a baby girl. I told you, she made it. Thank God. How are they? I'm so sorry. She didn't make it. Doctor, I don't understand. Who didn't make it? My wife or my baby girl? Which of them? Your wife didn't make it. We tried our best to save her life. But due to the prolonged labor, really affected us. So, Doctor, Doctor, come down, 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 come
The news of her death was so devastating because no one expected it to happen. She died without even seeing her child. Yes. So devastating. It was a rude shock to us. Your father could not bear it. One year after her burial, I advised my brother as your father to take another wife who will look after you. And that was how Laura came to live with us. Oh, mother. Mother, I love you so much. Even if I didn't get to meet you, I love you. It's not easy. I thank God you are now grown. At least you continue from where she started. Yeah? That's our consolation. It's okay, don't cry. Please. She's the murderer. What? Arrest her. My prince, you have to listen to me. You know I would do anything to hurt you. Why in God's name would I want to murder you? I didn't do anything. This is all a setup. I didn't... Listen, she's evil. Young woman, you are under arrest for attempting murder on this young man here. I didn't do anything. Madam, the, the thing is, well, when you get to police station, you, you can explain to them. Exactly. But for now, you have to go to the police station. Madam, track. you have to remain silent. Or anything you say or do here, will be used against you in the court of law. Move it. Move it! Please! 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 Me and no fun They say I am homeless And they try to take The only thing that gives me joy No Or I will fight I will fight if no one speaks for me, I will speak for myself. I will fight, I will fight. No matter what it takes me, I will get what is mine. Oh, small things they don't they talk to not. If I talk back, they start to shout at me If I shout, they start to fight with me What have I done to them? Uh -huh. That is good for her, Mama She wanted to kill Prince because she knew she has lost him <laughs> They will take her to court And jail her for life Let her go and sleep there, idiot
Uganda ya. So, what is what doing? Is what doing well? The woman in there is not the one you brought to me the other time you came. I mean, the one we're supposed to go and see her people before I had that accident. What happened? Um, Papa, it's, it's a long story. It's not what I'll start telling you here now. I'll tell you when next I come back. My son, women are dangerous. Especially when it comes to disappointment in marriage. Make sure whatever happens, the fault is not from you. I know what I'm talking about. Is that clear? Very clear, Papa. So, let's go. Mother, oh my goodness. That man is such a nice man. He accepted me wholeheartedly. Hey! Thank God. Look at Anya. Hmm. So you said he took you to his new house. Oh my goodness. You needed to have seen the house. His new house is sophisticated. Beautiful. Really? Yes. Hey. Oh my God, I'm so excited. And, oh no. Let me give you the most interesting part of the whole story. Please, please, please say it. We are enjoying every bit of it. Oh my dear. They will be coming on the 24th of this month. To see you, mother. Eh? Yes! It's again. Oh. They'll be coming to see you! <laughs> <laughs> ah, I'm telling you! Oh, I'm so happy for Everything you. is so smooth. This is good wow. news. Thank you, mother. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Mother, mm. please, as I was saying before, I was interrupted by someone's presence. Do you know I've forgotten that this idiot is still in this house? Same here, me too. I don't even know why you go near and did that case. Eh? She deserves to go to jail. Mother, Ogona is not a bad person. But he did one thing which I really liked. Bringing her to sign that undertaking at the police station is very, very important. Well, he should have at least allowed her to suffer someone inside that jail. Exactly. Mother, we shouldn't be talking about this girl. She's not important. She's not. The most important thing right now is that your daughter will be getting married to Ogonaya. Mm. Wow. Isn't that amazing? Yes, I am homeless and they try to take the That woman never wanted my happiness. She lied to her children that I was adopted. Dumibi also told Prince the same thing. Now Prince has taken heart to his father. What did he tell his father about me? I must find out. I will fight No matter what it takes me I will get what is mine Oh Small things they don't they talk too much If I talk back they start to shout here you are. Here you are. Planning another evil. I told them. I told them that I was not comfortable with the undertaking you signed at the police station. Here you are. Heaven knows I had no hand in that attack against the prince. You and your daughters framed me up to achieve your selfish aim, right? You lied from the beginning. <laughs> so I'm not surprised. I am not surprised you're still lying to you now. But you know what? Your days are numbered in this house. Very soon. I mean, very, very soon. You will pack your things and go back to the motherless baby's home where you were adopted from. Well, there 
Thank you. Thank you for reminding me once again that I was adopted. I'm glad to hear it. One thing I want you to do is that two of your daughters put together I'm not better off than I am. And you know it. <laughs> really? Interesting. Very interesting. What are you doing here? Good afternoon. What are you doing here? Just come to help Daddy. I came to have a word with you. You came to have a word with me? If you had succeeded in killing me in that attack you masterminded, would you be here to have a word with me? Please, 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 please. I had no hand in your attack. Oh, you shut up. Why would I even do that? I love you, Prince. Why would I want to kill you? Do you think you can confuse me with this, you fit tears? No, listen. Leave my house now and never come back. Grace. I said leave my house! Grace, I was framed up. Can't you say it? I didn't do anything. Oh. You need to listen to me. I was framed up, please. Didn't you threaten to deal with me a night before the attack? You want to confuse me with your... Okay, Grace. I'll come with you after my dead man. Just, just, just hold on. Please, please, please. Wicked son, you're trying to kill me. I, could, I couldn't. No, you, you, you plan to kill me. Prince, I couldn't have done that. I didn't plan to kill you. Prince, please, I beg you, I didn't do it. When my dead man comes, you will tell him that. Prince, you need to hey, listen to me. Come I... here now. <laughs> come here now. Prince, I beg you. Nonsense. I beg you, I didn't do it. <laughs> Vanessa! Look at her face. Do not mind the makeup, just look at it very well. What have done your face? Don't be a fool, come this way and look at her face very well. I've seen this, I've seen this. Now I don't want to see her miserable face in my house again. If I dare see her, I will suck your ass. Very clear, sir. You will not see her again, sir. I that to my good man, he will listen to you. Please, listen to me. Madam, please, 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 I beg you, I didn't do anything, I didn't do anything. Oh, Ogawa spoke, please, madam. Please, I beg you, please, just listen to me, please. Madam, madam, Ogawa spoke, madam, please, 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 madam, come and go, just shut the hell up. Madam, you're not paying me, please, come on. Ogawa don't talk as it's been, as it's been, come and go. Forget that I'm small. My wife just born, madam, please, come and go. You're not paying me, Ogawa spoke, please, come and go now, madam. Madam, please come and go now, please. And I leave now. I'm not paying you. What is all that to spend my own? Okay, please, it will not happen again, please. They say I am homeless, and they try to take the only thing that gives me joy. No, or I will find. Good afternoon. Sorry for keeping you waiting. Thank you very much. Um, and I'm sorry to have bothered you too. And um, <laughs> you must be Vicky, Prince's sister. I, I mean, Ogunaya's sister. Uh, yes, yes, I am. Oh, you just told me so much about <laughs> you. So how is school? School is fine. Oh, I see. Um, I'm here to see your father. Is he in? No, no, no. He's out. Okay, um, and it's okay if I wait for him here, right? Okay, yes, you can, you can. Um, but I was doing something inside before you called my attention. No, no, it's okay, you can go back in. Okay. But just help me with a glass of water. Okay, I'll you. Thank you. Mrs. Laura Okafo, the above mentioned kindred uses this medium to invite you to our upcoming meeting to be held on the 24th of this month at our meeting place. A case was reported against you and you are to attend the meeting with two cartons of beer. 
4 kola notes and 5,000 naira. You are reminded that it is mandatory that you attend the meeting to avoid sanction by the said kindred. Thank you, Chairman, Mr. Okemwa, Secretary, D.K. Avo. What kind of rubbish is this? The same day that Prince and his father are supposed to visit us here? Which case are they talking about? I'm confused. My stepmother and her daughters framed me up so they could take him away from me. What? I didn't do it. I made no sense, Papa. Yeah. Anyway, my son never told me he was attacked by assassins. He told us he was he had an accident. Yes, that was what he told us. My stepmother has never wanted anything good for me. Papa, can you imagine this woman told her daughters that I was adopted? And I'm sure they told your son the same thing. That's why he's been acting this way. Oh. It's okay. Don't, don't just cry. Don't cry. Take it easy. Eh? It's a good thing you came to tell us this matter. I love oh, him doctor. very much. I can see. I love him from the deepest part of my heart. And yeah. stop crying. Don't, don't talk worry. To him. Don't worry. We'll talk to him. I'm going to talk to him for you. Eh? I will talk to him. For you. I don't know why I can you see this to me. Maybe because my father is not alive. Oh. They know I have no one to fight for me. I'm just tired. I don't even know what to do anymore. Don't worry, you have a God. <laughs> oh? Even if nobody is there for you, you have your God by you. Oh? I'll do all I can as his father to convince him. I can see love showing in your eyes already. Oh? Thank you. Do that. That's why you. Um, I want to see your. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, let me go in. <laughs> okay. Okay. This man here say want to see you, sir. Okay, how can I help you? I'm here to warn you to leave Siva alone. I've labored so much to build this relationship. Suddenly you appeared from nowhere. Do you gain it? No. Leave her alone, please. Have you lost it? I've not lost it. I came to warn you. She's my fiancée. Martin, I'm listening very good. Never you in your miserable life step your feet in this house again. Do you know who I am? Do you know me? And who the hell are you coming to? Get the hell out of my house! Do you imagine this fool here? You coming to my house to warn me? My friend, you will do nothing. You, this is your house, I know. Leave my woman alone. Get out! I've come, come to warn you. I've come to warn you. Who the hell? Leave my woman alone, man. How dare you come to my house to talk to me? I won't warn you, sir. Mr. Man, you are wrong. How can you enter someone's house and start threatening him? Is that, how you huh? judge? Is that how you judge your own? Can you imagine that for you? Is your friend wanting to leave my woman alone? I'm gonna warn you. Let me see your miserable feet in this house. What's this bastard? And you, you open the gate for, 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 for. Don't stop. 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 Don't stop.
my guy, you have to be very, very careful. You have to be very, very careful these days because huh, your rivals are many. Well, that's not a problem. Just watch and see. I'm going to trace him and get him arrested. Just watch and see. But I didn't expect you to fight him. Now, why won't I? Abby, you expect me to fold my hands and watch that fool come to my house to, to insult me? No, no, no. Is that what you expected of me? To, to, to fold my hands and, and watch that man insult me in my own house? My guy, you have no case with that man. You should have let him know that you don't have anything to do with Siva anymore. Well, not with that manner of approach. Even if I don't have anything to do with Silver, that's not the reason he will come to my house to insult me. Get my point? Well, like I said before, you have to watch your back. Be very, very careful. Well, we'll, we'll see later, man. I'm so pissed right now. You have to take it easy. They call me an orphan They say I am homeless And they try to take The only thing that gives me joy Hey! Sandra! Sandra! Bring that letter for me! Call me. Yes, I call you. What do you mean about this? Come back here. Waiting for an answer to my question. You're waiting for an answer to your question. Why are you asking me about the letter? Did you see my name on the letter? <laughs> Silver. Silver. Don't pretend like you knew nothing about this. What did you report to the Omona against me? I don't know what you're talking about. Come to think of it, are you afraid to answer the Omona? Silver. Why are you lying? <laughs> You're making a very big mistake if you think you can use the Omona summon as a weapon to disrupt Ugonia's visit on the 24th. Tell the Omona that mother will not honor such summon. Thank you, Omona, that Omona will not honor such summon. You're sending me to them as your DHL to drop a message for them. And let me ask you too, how is this even supposed to be any business of mine? Listen. I have taken enough of your nonsense in this house. One more provocation. I will eject you out of this house. I'm waiting for that day. I've been told how Ifani, your lover, went to Gunai's house and disgraced himself. Stop fighting, Dumibi. Stop fighting her. You're wasting your time. his house to do. Thanks, my boy. It's fine. You sounded very urgent on the phone. Yes, I did. It's about your visit to our house. We have to change plan. Why? My mother got a letter from our kinsmen. She's been summoned to the village meeting. Um, same 24th. So we have to change. I don't understand. Why are they fixing it on the same date? I, I, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't just know. I don't know. I don't know. But I think that Silver must have a hand in this. You know that girl. Silver again? What is wrong with that girl? I don't know. My father called me yesterday and complained that Silver reported me to him and said so many rubbish about me. 
She did what? Yes! Huh. Well, I told my father that she sent assassins after me. And right now, we are no longer together. Please, when you get home, one silver for me, because I don't want to lose it. I've always known Silver to be very dangerous and desperate. But little did I know that she would go this far. What rubbish. After trying to take my life. Oh no, she wouldn't dare. Do not worry yourself, my darling. I will sure deliver your message to her once I get home. What madness is this? Going to your father? Goodness. A <sighs> girl has no shame. want you alone. Why are you moving from one place to another, tarnishing my image? You may be, please. I beg you with everything you hold dear. I really don't want to get angry this afternoon. Take your problem elsewhere. I don't want your insults this afternoon. Oh, please. I will insult you. You heard me. I will so insult you because you're so shameless and insensitive. What is wrong with you? Huh? I choose to ignore you. But I won't warn you again. This is the last time I am going to warn you. And if you warn me, what will happen? <laughs> what will I you? You are not going anywhere because I'm not done talking to you. You may be. You're not going anywhere. Uh, what is it? Uh, Brother, can you imagine this fool? She went to Gonia's father's house and told the man to stop the son from getting married to me. How could you stop so low? Silver, what is your problem in this house? Eh? Get it, I Maggie. You want to know what my problem is? One little time. Warn her! Mother, I am saying it! Warn her! Because as it stands, I'm ready to die in anybody's hands! I won't take this nonsense from anybody again! Yeah. Oh, really? Then get ready to die. If that is exactly what you want, get ready to die! Silva, are you not ashamed of yourself? No, she's obviously not ashamed of herself. You're not ashamed of yourself? And now, listen, let me tell you. Ugonia asked me to warn you to stay away from his affairs. Mm. Leave him alone! Is that too much to ask? You are talking nonsense. Oh. You are talking in the rubbish. Rubbish, that is what you're saying. Let me tell you, you are just wasting your time. You are wasting your time thinking that you have succeeded in taking him away from me. Big joke. You are just jealous. You are so jealous of me. Listen, you are the one wasting your time thinking that you're trying to ruin things for me. It will never stop me. Your plans won't work. Leave us alone! Okwagi, you, Silver, you, you will suffer. Which? Yeah. It is you. You and you that will suffer. God will punish all of you. Punish your generation to come. All of you. What is you do? What is you that will punish you? 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 What is Hmm. You see, <clears throat> you see, Laura has disgraced herself today before the Mona and her daughters. Hey, hey, I don't know what she had in mind by telling her own daughters that Ikofo's daughter was adopted. I think her plan was to deprive Silva of her rights in the family. What does she mean? And that is wickedness. Wickedness of the highest order. Huh? She is supposed to take Silva as her own daughter. You know, mm. her, her daughters were really disappointed in her today. Very, mm. very disappointed. It is now obvious to Dumebi and Sandra that Silva was not adopted as their mother claimed. Mm. Yeah? You see, you know, I saw their reaction when their mother was apologizing to Silva. Mm -hmm. It was something else. <laughs> they never expected it. Don't worry. I got peace here. Even a man over there. I got peace here. Even a man over there. Don't worry. Okay, Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. But why did mom like to lose? Is that why you're worried? Yes. Can you imagine the humiliation we got at the meeting today? I was so ashamed of myself. 
Oh, Sandra. There was no humiliation. Please. Were you not there when mom apologized to Silva? She was forced. Then was it not glaring? Oh, you seem to have forgotten who Silva is. She was in the village before our arrival. So there's every possibility that she must have gone to bribe those men. I don't think it is so. Silva was not adopted as just as mom told us. Oh, please. Sandra, can we just drop this discussion? I have a lot of things to think about right now, not Silva. Please. Guy, I'm very happy for you. <laughs> Finally, you're about to settle down after the whole battle. Oh, yes. Hi. But see, it was not an easy battle. I mean, Silver gave me a tough time, my brother. <sighs> We're counting down to the deed day now. Oh, yes. In less than three weeks, I will be walking down the aisle with the love of my life. Uh, honestly, I, I, I envy you. I, I feel like I'm the one getting married now, you know? <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> Calm down. It's, it's really not time, easy. So. It is good. Yeah, sure. It's a good a, a champion without challenge. <laughs> it's not a champion, you know. Yeah. That's what's up. Yeah. So, yeah, I really, I really envy you. <laughs> well, the truth is that nothing good comes easy, you know? <laughs> me and yeah. no fun. They say I am homeless And they try to take The only thing that gives me joy No, or I will fight What are you doing here? There is nothing good about this afternoon What are you doing here? I brought a message for you. What stupid message? It's a message from the hospital. Check the letter. Let's find out what it's saying. Have a nice day. He said we will be traveling to Dubai for our honeymoon. <laughs> really? Yes, mommy. Oh, this is good news. And that's not all, oh. He said our marriage will be the talk of town. The bloggers will carry it like it's going to be everything. And I say a big amen to that. Amen, oh! Amen and amen and amen. <laughs> mommy, I'm so excited, honestly. Hey. Oh. <laughs> Father, I thank you. Thank you, Lord. Okay, now listen. I hope you have reminded him of my own group of Ashwabi. Ashwabi what? Well, what do you need Ashwabi for? Me ni kwanugi. Huh? Please don't get me angry. Ah uh ah! -uh. What a question. I need Ashwabi for my own club members. My close friends. I'm afraid you are telling your royal majesty. Whatever. Uh -huh. Another thing that is very, very important. Okay, tell me. He promised me one million naira for my shopping. So please, help me to remind him. Or guard the room. Your own personal shopping? A million naira? Mommy, isn't it rather too much? It's my husband you're talking about here. Is it your money? And even at that, you want to liquidate him? Do maybe? Can be quite Is it because I accepted just one million naira? Eh? But he will make it two million naira. I'll tell him about that. Eh. Mm. Mommy, that is not. Please, let's just forget <laughs> about all this. My excitement is that I'm going to so get married before that silver. Is that my elder sister? Who does that? Doom doom. Mm, mommy. Do me listico. Mommy listico. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh. You know what? What mommy? <laughs> Finally, yes. God has turned our enemies 
Tawafufu. I know what I'm saying. That is it. Now, what he said. So he said. Who on earth will believe that Dumebi will get married before Sarah? Nobody. We never saw it coming. But it's gonna happen, mommy. He's coming, God. We never see it at all. I got this from your bedroom. Silva is pregnant for you. You're not saying anything. That, that's what she said. No. That's exactly what the result says. That she is pregnant for you. Is that true? Oh, that, that is what I cannot tell. What do you mean by that? Oh my god, I can't believe this is real. I mean, what exactly are you saying? My love, can we just skip this pregnancy thing? It's not a problem. Can you hear yourself speak? Ugona, I mean, can you hear the things coming out from your mouth? You got her pregnant and you're telling me it is not a problem? What is wrong with you? Because I'm not sure. Oh, you are sure! Why can't you zip up? What is all this? Now listen to me. I am not going to face any humiliation from you once again. If you know how this thing, this mess happened, you saw it out. You can't be humiliating me. For how long? Horrible. must have faked that pregnancy result. Mommy, she didn't. She didn't fake it. Possible, mom. Exactly what I told your sister. Mommy, she did not fake it. I'm telling you. Have you forgotten there was a time Siva passed the night in Ogonia's house? Constantly. I'm sure she planned all of this. Do maybe you need to talk to her? Yes. The pregnancy is of no use since Ogonia is no longer interested in her. Does she want to know that? I mean, does she want to understand that the man doesn't want her? Does she? Is she back? Mom, she's not back. <laughs> Siva, she shouldn't just try me in this house. Because she's really going to get it hot from me. I won't spare her. I will not. Stupid girl. Uh, we need her legs anyhow. She must abort that pregnancy. Dumibi thought she has had her way. I will not be alive and watch her marry Prince. Not when I'm carrying his child. I'm glad you're back. What do you want? I've come for us to talk. Talk about what exactly? I saw the pregnancy test you left in his house. Good a thing you saw it. <laughs> well, that thing inside of you has to be removed. Do away with it. <laughs> did you speak Spanish or English? Excuse me? <laughs> what did I hear you say? I'm sure you're not daft. I said that thing inside of you needs to be aborted. Same way you did not abort your child when you got pregnant for him. I won't touch mine. Well, I'm not here for unnecessary argument. Of course, you know that the day to our marriage is very close. You know that. 
then you wouldn't fool yourself thinking that you have a chance when you have obviously lost. So you have to take that thing inside of you out. Fantastic. Congratulations to you, darling. Thank you, Inadi. But let me make this clear. You see this child in my womb? I won't tamper with it. Mm. That's me. Suit yourself, huh? It's my phone. <sighs> Hello, Prince. Okay. I've heard you. plan is working. Yes. It's working. Here's a check of five million naira. What's the money for? I want you to terminate the pregnancy. You're joking, right? <laughs> In fact, I didn't hear you clearly. What did you see? Oh, Sylvia, come on. Collect this money. You can't be pregnant for me while I'm about to marry your stepsister. Just shut up. Stop telling me to shut up. Because you're talking nonsense. You want me to terminate this pregnancy because of my stepsister? The same person that put me in this condition? Are you serious? Silver, please. Accept this money. I don't want us to do something we both will regret. Please. <sighs> Let me have the check. This, Can is I? A, this is advanced. I'll give you more. Just use it and start something. Five million. I'll give you more. Huge money. For peace to reign. Good money. Now listen to me and listen good. I don't need your money. Neither do I need a new life. You see this child? I won't terminate it. I won't kill this baby in my womb. Let me see how you walk down the aisle with my sister. Silver told the checkbook Ugonia gave to her, saying that she will not tamper with the pregnancy. Can you imagine? Uh, Silver is seriously asking for trouble. She is asking for trouble, mommy. Anyone that knows that fool should go and talk to her. They should want her. <laughs> because I won't take rubbish from her anymore. This is not about senior sister or anything. I won't take rubbish from her. Who will she listen to? Hey? When she rejected a check of five million naira, hmm. then she's digging her own grave with her own hands. I don't care if she gets to carry the pregnancy. Me, yeah, I don't care. Because whatever she's doing will never stop me from getting married to go near. It will not stop me. No way. My daughter, listen. It is very dangerous for her to keep the pregnancy. Yes! Because if she does, <laughs> it will be a threat to your marriage to go near. And I will make life very miserable for her. She wouldn't dare. Something has to be done very fast. Before it's too late. But mommy, what can really be done since she has refused to abort the baby? What can be done?
just talk to me. What is it? Talk to me. What? Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Okoro, sir. Okoro, open sir. the gate. Yes, open sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. What happened? It's my son. What about him? I, I went to his school to look for him, but I couldn't find him. Then some students said an auntie came and picked him up. Initially, auntie? I thought... Yes, I thought it was my sister, Sandra. I called Sandra, but Sandra said she wasn't the person. But have you reported to the school authorities? Yes, we even went with them to the police station. I can't find my son. I can't find him. <sighs> But that means you've reported to the police. Yes, I have. I have. My Lord, please. Help us. I don't want anything to happen to my grandson. Please, okay, okay. just, just do something for me. I'm losing my it's mind. It's okay. It's okay. Let me make a few calls. Oh, huh? my goodness. An auntie came to pick him up. Yes. And it wasn't Sandra. I'm still wondering who the person is going to be. Let me get a military involved, too. It's okay, just come. Are you saying that nothing has been heard about your son up to now? Indeed, this is the third day. No phone calls. No letter from... from whoever that adopted him. This is serious. But who could be behind this? Do you... Do you remember that man uh, that, that, that I had a kind of confrontation with? Uh, that, that warned me some time ago? Yes, I remember him. Are you suspecting he might be the one? Yes. But my problem is... I don't know how to locate him. And Sylvia has not been seen since my son's disappearance. No one knows her whereabouts. She's the only one that can lead me to him. My prince, this case is taking another dimension. I will advise you to forget about the police for now. There is a place I will take you to. Yes, whoever that is holding your son will release him immediately. Where is the place? He's a very strong man of God. The church is very close to my house. Hmm? Okay. Up to now, we've not seen Silva. Where could she be? I'm suspecting that Silva must have run away with Eboka to punish you, maybe. Registered number. Go ahead, answer it. Hello. Hello, who is this? The person is not being audible. I couldn't hear anything he said. Maybe it's network. Hello? Hello? Who? Please, proceed the number. I said it. It's the same number. Check mine. It's the same number. Please ask. Hello? Yes, this is Sandra. Who are you? Hello? Oh. Oh. Honestly, I'm sick and tired of all this. What is really going on? 
Up till now, the police has not come up with any tangible thing about this case. They kept saying they are still investigating. I mean, for, for how long? For how long am I going to wait for this their stupid investigation? It's really frustrating me, mommy. Um, what of Ugonia? I thought he went with you to the station. I didn't see him there, mommy. I didn't. Besides, I do not have to wait for him before I look for my son. He's my son we're talking about here. It's my son. Um, please, answer. Hello? Hello? To me be. Yeah, who is this? Yeah, it's me. I am Ebuka's father. What rubbish are you talking about? Stop kidding me, girlfriend. Look, this is the voice of John Kennedy. Stop looking for Ebuka. He is safe in my care. How dare you? Listen to me, girlfriend. Time has come to tell your people the truth. I will not have you give my son's paternity to another man, okay? Have you lost your mind? What exactly are you talking about? You see, to me, the first time I spotted you after all these years, I started digging around. I knew you were pregnant for me before you ran away. Will you stop all this? Can you just stop already? Look, I was very happy when I learned that you have a son. Interesting, interestingly enough, he is seven years old, which corresponds to the same period you got pregnant for me. I've told my son about you and I. Thank God he is very smart, like his father. So he understood everything. You know what? I'll get back to you later, okay? Thank you for now. Who is that? And what did he or she say? I worship your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hmm. My brother. You know, the book of Matthew chapter 7 verse 7 says something. He said, when we ask, we shall receive. When we seek, we shall find. And when we knock upon the door, it is always open for us. The boy we speak of, his name is Ebuka. Am I correct? Yes, his name is Ebuka. Yes. Uh, See, my brother, there's a mix up somewhere. Mix up? What kind of mix up? Okay, let me explain it this way. You see, the Gospel of Matthew explains something. When Jesus was about to leave his disciples, he said he would not leave them alone. That he will send the comfort out the afflicted. The Holy Spirit always and every time reveals the truth. Now, while I was praying over your case, the Holy Spirit ministered something to me. It was actually clear. You see, Ebuka is actually safe. As a matter of fact, Ebuka is with his father. With his father. I don't understand. I've been looking for him. He's not calm, calm down. You see, that's the mix up I was telling you about. That's the mix up I spoke about. Ebuka is not yours. What? Are, are you alright? Are you out of your mind? Ebuka is my. What Ebuka is my son. Which one is Ebuka is not my son? Did you bring me here for this man to insult me? Please, 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 calm down. Calm, didn't you hear what he said? That Ebuka is not my son? What kind of rough place no, that one? Calm down. Let us get this message clearly. Please. Okay, let me put it this way. You see, the book of Numbers chapter 22 verse 11 says something. He said that God is not man that he should lie, but the son of man that he should repent. Now you see, the words I speak to you, they are not my words. They come directly from the Holy Spirit. My advice to you is this. Go to him. And if you're still in doubt, ask the voice of You see, there is a secret to show you.
You did not speak to anyone since last night you received that call. What is really going on? Mom, please, I'm not in a good mood. I never believed things would turn out like this. I'm not happy, please. Please, talk to me. Is Ibuka dead? What is the secret you're hiding from me? Secret? What are you talking about? No, do not pretend. What secret are you hiding from me? I don't have any secret. Stop talking now! Don't, don't in love me! Tell your daughter to tell me the truth! Who is Ebuka's father? <laughs> Stop talking before you lose it now! Who is Ebuka's father? Let me tell him to calm down, allow me to talk. No, I will not Please. calm down until you Please. tell me the truth. So you have to Who down. is Ebuka's father? Please. For the last time, do maybe. Do maybe. He should calm down. And I will oh, talk. Please calm down. What is he talking about? Mommy. Yes. During my school, when I was seven, okay. I was dating two guys. Gonaya and John Kennedy. Okay. I really loved Ugonia more because he was caring and also educated. John Kennedy was a bully. He was so cruel towards me. He had so much money but he hit me at any slightest provocation. So I wasn't comfortable with him. So when when I, when I took him, I went to run near here because I, I knew he would take good care of me more than John Kennedy. Um, so, <sighs> so. All this rubbish you're trying to say is that I am not Abuka's biological father? John Kennedy is. Though I I hid it. I hid it from him because I never wanted to be with a bully. I prefer to be with you. <laughs> decided to visit me at last. I'm so sorry, Junkie. I have not been alright. I've been sick. Is that why you also reject my calls too? Is that it? I've, I've been down. Don't feel bad about that. I also went to your shop. I couldn't find you there. It's okay, so tell me. Are you feeling better now? I'm better. Better, but all is not well. What is it? I'm pregnant. I'm three months pregnant. You are three months pregnant? Yes. I can't believe it. I don't even know what to tell my parents when I get home. I only have three months to stay in this state. Who do I tell them? Eh? Where, do I even, where do I even start? It's okay, my love. It's okay. I, I'll come and see your people, okay? Yeah, I promise you. I'll come and see them. I'll marry you. Come on, share off. Take my word. <laughs> Let me get you something to drink. Something soft, all right? <laughs> Have you been since morning? I've, I've been at home. Home where? 
Do you know how many times I came to your lodge to look for you today? Do you? Oh, Kenny, please don't be like this. We are outside. I was inside the house. You're a liar. I was in my room. Shut up, you're a liar. But, but I was in my room. You are still lying to me. I'm not lying to you. Do me be? You are still lying to me? You slapped me. And I will slap you. Stop One doing this. We are outside. This way. This way. Stop. I'm human. I suffered so much in John Kennedy's hand. It was too much for me to bear that I had to leave the relationship. I ran out of town without even telling him I was leaving. I, I also changed my number so he wouldn't get to me anymore. I'm so sorry, Ronaya. I'm sorry, dear. I never meant to hurt you. It was just circumstances. I'm sorry. So you did all you did without minding how I'm going to feel. And you claimed you loved me. I loved you more. Loved you more. It was I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, please. I'm sorry, girl. I'm so sorry. Where is Silver? Um, honestly, I do not know where she is. I don't know. That's the truth. I don't know. Truth. I loved you. Okay. Mom, you lied to me. You lied to me that Uncle Prince is my real father. But now, I found my real father. I'm sorry. <laughs> Greetings, everybody. Are you John Kennedy? <laughs> yes, I am John Kennedy. And you must be Prince, right? <laughs> Do you know him? I don't know him. He only sent his men to... to kidnap me so I could take him to Ibuka school. Well, I am so sorry for that. Um, I know what I did was against the law. But the truth wouldn't have been made known. Silva here told me she's pregnant for you, Prince. This is unbelievable. <sighs> Do maybe. Please. Can you find it in your heart to forgive me? I am so sorry for the inconveniences that all these things have caused you and your family. Do maybe please forgive me. See, I wanted us to make it right, but you refused to give me the attention. Please forgive me, and I promise you, I will never ever lay my hands on you again. I'm so sorry for the past attitude towards you. Please forgive me. Find it in your heart, my love. Please. Mom, forgive that. Ebuka is right. Please, do maybe. Do maybe. Charles has been arrested. He sent those assassins that nearly killed Ugugune. Charles? Oh, my goodness. Why is everything happening almost at the same time? They were reported to the police by someone who overheard them on how they were planning to kill Prince. Oh. Mom, what is going on here? Um, Silver. In as much as we just got the good news, 
I will still not be happy if you don't forgive me. I'm very sorry, my love. I did all I did because... Because of him. I thought he's my son. Please. They call me an orphan. They say I'm adopted. I don't have a father. And I don't have a mother. They call me an orphan. They say I am homeless. And they try to take the only thing that gives me joy. No, or I will fight. I will fight. If no one speaks for me. We'll speak for myself I will fight I will fight No matter what it takes me I will get what is mine Oh Small things they don't they talk too much If I talk back they start to shout at me If I shout they start to fight with me What have I done to them? Ah, uh, small things they don't they talk too much If I talk back they start to shout at me If I shout they start to fight with me What have I done to them? I will fight and I won't quit Till I get what belongs to me No one can stop me No torture can stop me Until I get